watching Leicester Till I Die TV. Good afternoon, good evening, good day, wherever you are in the world. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Nice and early in the UK, isn't it? It's a little coming up to half past 11 and we are live on LTID TV 2 for a watch along that hopefully has more joy in it than the men's side watch along did. It is a big, big day for the Leicester City women. And just quickly before I get into that, before I get into this big massive game that's coming up in approximately half an hour, if you are over on ILTI TV 1 and uh, you're watching this over there, nip over to this channel. We are we are LTI TV 2. We are the home of all things WSL Leicester City women's and we have an amazing Leicester City football pyramid quiz. So you can check that out afterwards. Don't check it out now. Head on over there. Come on, you guys. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody on LTIT TV1. Come on over, over to this channel. This is where it's supposed to be at. It's just trying to help the, the channel branch out and grow. So, yeah, if you could just nip over there, wherever you're watching it, and just click the subscribe button and hit the like, that'd be much appreciated. Ooh, I'll tell you what, I've got to try and get some energy from somewhere. It's half 11. Didn't know half 11 existed in the morning. That's Chris. I'm normally up 20 minutes after the game started. <laughs> But it is a big, big occasion. It is not just a game of normal proportions. No, this is Leicester City's women's first ever FA Cup semi-final. They have the chance to make their own little bit of history in what has been a fairly successful season for Leicester. Sat in mid-table, over 10 points clear of bottom place Bristol City. So relegation for the third season in a row is not on the cards for the Foxes, which is also brilliant. But today they take on... Tottenham Hotspur in the WSL FA Cup semi-final and this is going to be a huge game. I am hoping, right now there's a cooking show on with the stream I'm watching it on, I am hoping that it's going to be work and I can bring you some great commentary, nearly as good as Chris, nearly as good as Chris, for this WSL semi-final the team news is in. It is an unchanged side from the team that drew with Aston Villa a few weeks ago. No injury concerns for the Leicester bench. As you can see the team scrolling across the bench. Only a couple of changes overall. Leipzig has returned from her injury. She's back in the side. The German international goalkeeper and O'Brien has returned to the bench. As you can see there in goal, forever staying in goal is Cop. Captain Tierney, Chris's favourite, just ask him. Uh, CJ Bott, uh, Howard and uh, make up the back line. Rose and Rantelaar and Peterman with Cayman in the middle. Uh, alongside and Takadira and Mamiki, the two Japanese internationals. They've got goals and assists since they've joined the club in January, starting up front. So... This is what you're here for. You're here for the watch along. It is Leicester City women versus Spurs women because surely Tottenham are going to bottle it. Surely, right? Well, I mean, you, realistically, you've got two bottlers, haven't you? You've got the Leicester men's bottlers and the Leicester and Tottenham just bottle things in general. So who knows? This could be an interesting game. And let's just hope there's a Wembley trip in store for the ladies. 
it'd be great, wouldn't it? The men have already won the FA Cup. Let's hope if the women can get there, first of all, they don't take five times, uh, five t- attempts to, to get it going and they can get the win early on today. So, you guys in the chat, thank you very much, first of all, for joining us. How are you all? Thank you all for being awake at this God-earthly hour. I say God-earthly hour. You guys have probably been up for hours. Um, but do get your score predictions down below. And I want to know, how have you got involved in the women's football? When did you get involved in the women's football? Was it just because you want to show love and support to this channel? Have you been following them for years? Let me know down below in the comments below. Get your score predictions. Can the women get through this important game? This is the biggest game in Leicester's history, with the women's side history. And uh, thankfully, it looks like um, the game is going on on my stream. I mean, Leicester have never beaten Tottenham in the league, but they always seem to lose 1-0. So I'm really hoping they don't do that today. I'd love it to be a reverse and Leicester win 1-0 today. But it's a big occasion for the Foxes. It's a chance to not only go to Wembley, um, but it's it's, 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 a, it's a chance to end what has been a fantastic league season. There's still a few games to go in the league, but what has been the most impressive league season for Leicester, by far and away their best season. And, then, and, it's, um, and it's a chance for them to really, you know, add some gloss to it, some t- a tinge of... of of extra some silverware it would be great for them to be adding some silverware to the occasion it's a tough ask they've got to play spurs they've got to beat spurs but it's looking sunny and it is live at tottenham stadium so they are away from home but <laughs> let's see if they can do it i mean they will face the winners of Manchester United and Chelsea. Chelsea, your current holders. Um, and, uh, yeah, it is it's looking good. There's a fair few amount of people there. Fair few people in and around the stadium as players are warming up. I'm trying to keep my noise down because I live with housemates. So apologies if you're struggling to hear me a little bit. I am trying to be mindful of the fact that I have people I live with and it's a bit early for a game typically. Leicester um, always seem to have these early kickoffs, but um, yeah, it's uh, sunny in Spurs. Hopefully, Leicester are there to rain on their parade. Um, get your score predictions, guys. Leicester haven't beaten Spurs in the league. All good things come to an end. I'm going to go two one Foxes. Uh, I'm going to go two one to to Leicester. Mamiki, I think she's incredible. She's been an incredible signing in the January window. Uh, she's got a couple of goals and assists in the last two games against Brighton and Aston Villa. And I do honestly think that she's going to bag here. Although both teams are now full of international stars. I mean. Um, Leicester are chock full of stars. Cop, Tierney, Bart, Rose, Ranta, the whole entire 11 and even the bench has represented at international level over international breaks, etc. Um, so this is a far cry from a team that was pretty much all homegrown and, and not too many internationals. They're so going up against a, a Tottenham side full of internationals and experienced players, but now Leicester are matching them on even players. It's why they've got to a semi-final. It's why they've done so well this season. Some great talent on show. So I'm going to nil, 2-1 two, two to the Foxes, because just like the men's side, they have a habit of conceding a goal. So I can't back the clean sheet as much as I'd like to. Um, No manager yet still in charge of Leicester since that debacle. I will not be commentating on that before anybody um, asks asks if I will be commentating on that and bringing up that soon. No, I won't. So there we go. That's that case closed. Um, but yeah, um, it's a big occasion for the women. Um, of course, they'll be playing an opposition that they've never beat before. Um, they've never beat before in a semi-final and if they were to play 
either, I believe, Chelsea or Manchester United in the final. They haven't managed to beat them either. So they've got two monumental tasks, but it's not out of the realms of possibility. Leicester men had never won a FA Cup final before until they went on and beat Chelsea. So if Chelsea meet them in the final, if they get past Spurs, who knows, history might repeat itself. So we'll see. We will see. As we get closer to kickoff time, guys, get your score predictions in. Again, tell me how you got interested in the women's football. Tell me what it is you know and ask as many questions as you can. I will try and answer as many as I can. It's great to have you here and great to have so many people. Make sure you are clicking the like button and subscribing. And if you are over here from LTID TV One, um, well, nip over here and make sure you're doing all the same good stuff you do over there, over over on this channel. As you can see there, come join in the fun and subscribe to the channel. You can follow me at Twitter, especially if you want to get involved with the quiz that I do. That's the best way to contact me is at Full Time Focus. Do like a video and just get commenting, guys. Get yourselves in. Tell me what you think um, of Leicester season so far in the WSL. And do you think they can win it? And if so, give me your score predictions. Let's let's see how we do today as um, there's an interview going on with um, temporary interim Leicester manager. Um, good for her. I hope, I hope we can do it. I hope I really do hope we can do it today. Oh dear. Leicester's first semi-final. It's going to be a huge occasion um, for Leicester. I'm not sure if Tottenham themselves have been here before, um, but uh, it's definitely a first for Leicester. And I'm looking forward um, to, to bring you, hopefully, my best commentary I can do. Um even if the, uh, even if my volume is a bit low, I hope you do understand that. Um, yeah, be good to win one 0 as long as we go along, Scott. Um, Scott, yeah, it would be great to see us move more forward, passing. I mean, they do adapt the Enzo way, but hopefully not as disastrous as it's been for the last couple of days for Enzo and the men's side, obviously. On a good solid performance at the back to start off with, and hopefully we can find some goals from somewhere. Something that the men's side have suddenly forgotten how to do is put the ball in the back of the net. So hopefully they can correct that today, the women's, and show the men just how you get into the FA Cup final. Obviously the men were defeated by Chelsea, um, two late goals there uh, in a four-two defeat. The women have gone one step further. They're hoping to go the whole distance, the whole ham, all the way. And get there and it's just a spurs side that like i said they just cannot get the win over in the wsl um obviously only the third season in there um so you know it's only a couple a handful of games they've played against each other a lot less than leicester and spurs have been in their total history but if ever there's occasion to end that route and get a win over over a team that's been your bogey team for a good couple of seasons now this is the occasion. Um, interesting to see if they can overcome it because recent results have been a little bit disappointing. They, um, they twice threw away uh, an advantage at, um, at, at home against Brighton. They ended up losing that game 3 2. And then they, um, they threw away the advantage against Aston Villa a few weeks after that to draw that game. So, luckily, Leicester have a big gap between. The 12th place, which is bottom in the WSL, 12th place, Bristol City, and um, and themselves. Good 10 points is the difference. Fair play to Bristol City. They're going down fighting, but uh, well, they're trying to go down fighting, but uh, they're just shipping way too many goals. So I think this was the first season Leicester probably felt the most comfortable about staying up. I think probably still expecting a hard fight and a, and a tough one, but they really come together well. They've had the experience, experience of Cayman added to the squad. They made an overhaul of signings. Go and check it out. I did it with Jack from the um, the final whistle. 
Um, at the start of the season, there was a lot of outs and there was a lot of ins, a lot of international talent brought in. Uh, Peterman, Rantelaar, Lowe's, Cayman, you know, Takadira was brought in January, so was Mamiki. Um, so, yeah, Leicester have lots of international experience on the bench, lots of experience on the bench as well, which is the key part um, to it all. Um, pretty much the same as the men's got standard of refereeing is 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 is, is it's just it's 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 good sometimes and bad other times there's it seems like the level of refereeing throughout is is just as mediocre <laughs> as, as it is in the men's division um sometimes you get a good ref sometimes you get a bad ref and sometimes the ref's just bad because you want to blame somebody <laughs> i guess um but yeah it's a strong lineup like i said um International breaks are scattered throughout the WSL season. So, um, same t- same eleven for those of you that joined in and, and watched along with me as we as Leicester went to Aston Villa and got a point. It's no change there. The international break and a bit of a gap probably helped that. Um, but like I said, the only changes to the team, Leipzig's Leitz- finally back in the squad. She's on the bench today, and O'Brien has come into the bench. Um, so, so Leicester have powers on, on, on the bench as well. Fireboard, Leipzig's a fantastic German international keeper who Leicester snagged off by Munich last season after being alone for half a season. Fireboard, Palmer, Palganda, Simpson on the bench. She, she's been, she was in red hot form earlier in the season. So, you know, um, Leicester have loads of talent. And then there's Goodwin wheeling and Baker and O'Brien obviously make up the rest of the bench. So there's options on the bench for Leicester if it doesn't go to plan or if it um, maybe does go to plan and they can rest a few players because they've, although their status in the WSL, all right, not mathematically, but it's all but secured um, because of how the division works, it would allow them to maybe then start to rotate their squads for the next couple of games if they were to have an FA Cup final to look forward to. And if they do, I I I I implore you to all go down there and cheer the ladies on if they're able to get down to that final. Um, is VAR at play? I'm not sure because I don't want to put my headphones on yet because I forget how loud I go. Um, I at least want to wait till kick off until I'm a bit louder because um, again, I currently live with housemates right now, so I'm. This this early starts not the best idea for me. Thanks, Leicester. Thanks, WSL. You couldn't kicked off at three o'clock or two o'clock when it been more approachable for the time. But there we are. Of course, they have to do a 12, 12 o'clock kickoff. There's probably some Premier League game on at two. That's why, typically. But yeah, I don't know if VAR is at play. It is at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, so the technology is there. Whether it is or not, if they mention it, I I, I will when I can play my sound through and i just realized i might want to turn that down my end because that was very loud and in my ear all right next to me so you'll be able to hear what i'm listening to whilst i'm trying to tell you what's going on but yeah i'm not sure if um if it is if it is the case um i mean the foxes were founded in 2004 i'm just seeing it across the screen here i'm using this choosing some information um and then obviously Tottenham were only promoted in 2019 to the Premier League and set, um, you know, and then just to turn professional in 2020. Um, Alex Morgan's played for um, promotion for the first attempt at Leicester for 2021. Alex Morgan, USA World Cup winner, has played for, um, for, for, for Tottenham Hotspur there. And... And they're both FA Cup semi-list for the first time in 2024. The 2024 FA Cup, both Tottenham and Leicester are making their first ever appearance. Um, it'd be interesting because they've done the way the way some teams play, where some teams play in the grounds, like Leicester have knocked out Liverpool in this contest, they've knocked out some higher end opposition, but they don't play at like your own fields in your old Traffords. Um that's against Liverpool. I believe they play their home games at Tranmere Stadium. I think it is. So, you know, there's no VAR there. Whether it is for a semi-final, again, 
once we're a bit closer to the time, I'll try and find out by listening in. But, um, yeah, guys, get your score predictions in. You've heard what I've had to say about the team. You've heard what the occasion means to both of them. Who's going to come out on top? Will Leicester make it to the first ever FA Cup final? Or are Tottenham going to, well, not bottle it, I guess, and, um, <laughs> and, and break Leicester heart? Oh, excuse me. How unprofessional of me to require a break in, in, in doing a watch along. It's only my third watch along. I've um, done my fourth in history. I did one on LTID TV um, earlier this season, actually. It was, a, um, it was a thumping over at Southampton. So maybe I'm good luck saying that since then I've witnessed a draw and a loss. So if that pattern's going to continue, then today should be a win, shouldn't it? Yeah, just seeing highlights there of Leicester, and they, they, they do play the same as the men's. They love to pass the ball around, try and not give up too much space, but they do like to play the quicker ball in behind at times, um, try and get in behind opposition. And um, yeah, they, they, they really are a keen side of seeing them as they thrash Birmingham City. I think it was Birmingham playing. Green and gold, but I'm pretty sure it was Birmingham City. They played and they 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 tore them apart. There was no VAR in that Scott, so I don't think there's VAR in in in, in this semi final. Maybe in the final, I think because the final is at Wembley. And, well, the technology is right next door, isn't it? It's right there. So um, I'd be surprised if it wasn't used as a final, but I don't think it'd be used as a semi final because Leicester have played at the King Power, and obviously the King Power. Well, no, it has the facilities to, uh, uh, you know, to do its own VAR in its setting, so it might be still there and all set up. I don't know, but most important thing. Do you want to know what the most important thing is? Yes, yeah, of course, it's a game. Obviously, it's a game. But the most important thing you guys can do, you lovely people in the comments can do, is just make sure first of all, if you're there in LTID TV one, because you've got a notification from them first. Why aren't you over on LTI TV too? Getting a notification from me. Eh? What you need to do, click over to LTI TV too. Hit the subscribe button. Because sometimes you don't. Sometimes you know you just think you think you're subscribed and you're not. So just double check. Yeah, subscribe. Cool. And hit the like button on this stream. Get it flowing around. And like I said, guys, there's been plenty of you in already this morning before the kickoff. Um, and team news was announced. So Make sure you are sharing the love just like you would if this was Chris on stream with this watch along. Um and and, and show this channel all the love and support. And if, it just helps us grow as a channel. I want to make this channel a big success. So I really want to focus on the women's game and Leicester quizzes. So the more support you guys show and show me that I'm doing a good job, even when I can't. Um even when I can't do it um, at, a, at a full volume, blame the kickoff times, blame the kickoff times. I hope you can still hear me and bring it to you as best as I can. I was just going to say women's team watching highlights are more decisive on attacks rather than trying to create perfect team goal. Um, what channel are we watching? If you're on about the, the where the watch along is, Funny enough, I want you here to watch the game or listen to me commentate. So I'm going to tell you where it is. If you're on about what channel is in LTID TV 1 or 2, you can watch it on either. Just appreciate the support on both. You know, I don't care if you're watching it. I prefer you to watch it on LTID TV 2 because this is where the main content's coming from. It's basically just why this channel is growing and monitoring along. We've linked the channels together for when I do the watch alongs. Um... So you can watch it on either LTID TV 1 or 2, but as long as you subscribe to both, that's all I ask for for you guys. But if you're asking me where am I watching it, what channel are we watching it on, if you find it, put it on mute and still listen to me. But I'm not going to tell you where it is, because funny enough, that's what a watch along is all about. We want you to be here watching along with us. The clue is in the title, um, Killian. But uh, I hope you well other than that. Anyway, um, so... Getting down to the last 10 minutes, I have given my score prediction of 2-1 to Leicester. 
uh, Scott went for one nil to Leicester. What do you guys think? You have 10 minutes to get your comments in on score predictions. And remember, as it is with any other watch along, um, no spoilers, please, because I just it won't get tolerated. It is not, you know, it's not it's not what we're here for. We're here to have a good time, have fun, and not have things spoiled. You know, I know it's exciting and we want to react as soon as a goal goes in, but just wait for me to react. Wait for me to react to what I've seen. Wait for me to 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 kind of celebrate or be annoyed if we concede, you know, and then put your comment in. Because then you can add something to the conversation, can't you? You can say, oh, that was a great goal. What a finish. Wow, well, yeah, get him one and all. Don't just put spoilers in, because even if you joke and try and get, get people clickbaity and put in a goal when there's clearly not a goal, you'll just get you'll just get timed out you'll just get you, you know and then you know I, I i have a very strong leaning policy on it but you will just get kicked out and then eventually i just i'd rather not have you here if you're going to keep doing it sort of thing you know it's it, it's just not needed it's watch long so for fun you know i'm i'm going to be watching the game i'm going to be doing the commentary for you people are do you, you're here to watch that play out and, and see, see me make some hysterical mistakes and probably judge me on my poor commentary skills and we're here to have a good time what we're not here for is for you guys to come and spoil it so please no spoilers this is a spoiler free zone and uh i will deal with you as i as 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 i see as i see fit and and also not really no spoilers i don't and and Killian, I'm not saying that you was you, that this is what you're asking, um, but and so I don't want you thinking this is aimed at you. It's not. But if you're going to come in and ask, where are you watching it? What are you watching it on? I'm just not. I'm not, I'm going to ignore your comment. I'm not going to respond to it because I want you here. If you find out where it is, right, watch it, mute them, listen to me. Absolutely no issues. Right, if you want to watch it, you want to keep an eye on the game, I expect you to be doing that. Don't come in here posting, it's on here, go here, go there, because it'll just get removed. You'll get banned and it'll get done. So no spoilers and no link link lovings over here, okay? Funny enough, trying to grow a channel, you want your supporters here, you want your people watching you here. So there's your warnings, folks. You have been told. Yeah, you have been warned. It is a big game. Um and that's what we're trying to that like i said this is what we're trying to do here so let, let's just keep it respectable just like you 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 all do on well the majority of you do on 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 our main channel unless it's like die one so you can do it there you can do it here and i know you can i believe in you um do you see spurs women bring possession base and where are their main threats Ooh, they've got a very good squad um scott they they like to play on um from what i've seen of them they play a good tempo of the game they they, they 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 try and drag you out of position and then and then hit through the middle um quite regularly try and get get in behind the defensive line lure you out to them get in they use the width and it's, it's pretty much in that middle of the park i mean they've got a very adapt named england international beth england who can score goals from all sorts of crazy angles. And one of the goals she scored past us last season, she was on the byline on the left-hand side and it absolutely flew into, into the top net. But the lights, they didn't have any chance at all. Yeah, okay, mate. Hi, hi buddy. <laughs> hey, glad to see you here. Um, but yeah, yeah, I, they're a dangerous outlet. I mean, look, Spurs have have been in the WSL since 2019 um, and they've been right up there challenging for the top five for European spots pretty much ever since that season kicked off so you know for for, for Leicester it's, it's, it's just trying to compose themselves and not get lured into that trap I mean the strong possibility if you know anything about the WSL that you're going to have to take on a Hayes managed Chelsea side in the final, still not overcome Manchester United, granted, but 
They are a very powerful unit. Always, always egging on for silverware. And so, hurdle number one, there is flags in the crowd. Tottenham fans waving it around. Hopefully, it'll turn into a full white flag of surrender and Leicester can, can really, really go at them today. It's all bottom tier, all opened up, and it's packed to the rafters for the availability for this women's game. It's it's it's, a, it's not shy on on crowds at all. In fact, somewhere in the second tier on on the sands at the side here. Good morning, good morning there, sir. Um, yeah, just about five minutes. Uh, I mean, I was as we both predicted. I was closer to half eleven than than. Than 11.15 but that's because I had to type in the team news and then I realised I shouldn't have got rid of the old one because nothing changed. How are the devil are you sir? The players are gathering in the tunnel Leicester fans there are also in their numbers waving their flags around. Spurs have gone all out for this occasion (laughs) I thought for a second you was describing Harry Kane when describing Colson being scored against less from all angles. Well, kind of, mate. Kind of. If she is the, uh, I guess you could say she is the Harry Kane of the women's division for Leicester's thorn in our side. There's a, but you know what? Fair play. Well done to all the travelling Foxes fans. It's a long way to go for a 12 o'clock kickoff. Uh, as the players are gathering in the tunnel right now and the officials just taking their mark they've done all the boots checking so no no one's got any vinnie jones style studs ready to go and take someone out players just getting a talking to captain tierney chris your favorite your favorite she's captain today see she's there just ready to lead the women's out the three minutes go till kickoff guys any of you brave enough to join me and scott with a score prediction there's been over 20 of you in. I hope you're all smashing that like button on there. And I hope you're ready to go and enjoy the commentary. I'm going to be back in a minute so I can sort out this. And um, and I'm be back for kickoff. So just give me one little moment. And I'm back. Oh, there we go. A sea of white and I want to say black, but it's more grey, to be honest with you. Flags from Tottenham. As both teams now are out on the pitch, the traditional shaking of the hands is underway. And uh, it's a team's... Spencer, Neville, James Turner, Buller, Nidian, Spence, Cinnamon, Clinton, Naz, Blitzer Doozy, and Bethany England starting for Tottenham. How good was that? I read through that team sheet before they even got there. I would go through the bench, but that's probably pushing the luck now. It'll probably disappear as soon as I start. Um, but yeah, a very strong side. It's a 4 3, a 4 3 3. Um, I am trying. It's a 4 3 3 lineup. Leicester line up in a 4 1 4 1. Copping goal, as I said. Bot on the right. Green Howard, the centre back pairings. Came in on the left. Takadara is a central defensive midfielder. Tierney and uh, Mamiki in the midfield. Rose on the left. Rant on the right. And Peterman is the lone striker for Leicester in a 4 1 4 1. A very, very. A very strong side. Jennifer Foster, the temporary interim manager to see out the rest of the season. I know, I'm trying, Chris. I'm being all posh and pretty, aren't I? So I can hear the players' names and I'm not going um, like that when you guys are thinking, God, that ugly face getting too close to the screen. Gordon Bennett. Um, you know, you don't want to see this too close. It's close enough, isn't it? You want to? I need to be able to hear so I can tell you what I'm hearing. Um and let's get on to it. The kickoff time is here. Oh, Scott's made a late prediction change. He's gone for a 3-2 Leicester win. Well, they've conceded lots of goals and scored lots of goals in their last two games. Did you know 
that for about three weeks of the season, Leicester were actually top of the WSL and undefeated. Yeah, their first defeat was a 1-0 home defeat to Man City after drawing at one all against Manchester United, beating Everton and Bristol City. I knew it, Chris. City couldn't let you down. As soon as I saw the name on the team sheet, I knew. There you go. Come on, Sam Tierney. He's only saying that because it's the first one he saw when he started this up and it's the only one he knows, really. If I asked him to name three more players, he'd go Tierney 2, Tierney 3. Probably, no, Chris. <laughs> Love you, mate. Love you. Um, a rendition of when the Saints go marching in. I'm guessing that's. I mean, how cliche can it be, Spurs? When the Spurs go marching, when the Saints come on, be creative, get your own ideas. But here we go. Well, if I can be late, so can the football. Apparently, one minute past twelve. Leicester have the kick off. As I look at it, they are kicking. They are. And I forget it's reversed, but Leicester have the kickoff. Leicester attacking the goal to my right as I look at it on the TV screen, and they are underway here. And instantly, they actually uncharacteristically play the ball deep forward to pin Spurs back into their own half. They Spurs have a throw in on this left hand side. It's thrown long up towards the halfway line. And Leicester have won possession back. This has got all the makings of a classic behind it. Um, and if Scott's got anything to say about it, goals as well as Leicester just keeping it around the back between the centre-backs and the goalkeeper, Cobb. It's like watching Vestergaard, Faze and Hermanson passing it around lovely around the back. No pressure being applied. Um by Spurs um, although just as the pressure is applied Leicester play into the middle but it's given away by Green but Leicester trying to push the Tottenham line back trying to cause chaos trying to get at Leicester early in these opening minutes and that's a great ball down the left but it's well read by Cobb and it gets into the box and she gratefully brings it into her grass the um, Copy and paste, Chris. Tut, tut, tut. You shouldn't have admitted copy and paste. You could have said, I, I've been following them since January and I saw them sign. You could have convinced me the world. Uh, fool me once, maybe, but not twice. It's last to have a throw just on the halfway line. They're throwing it into the Tottenham half, but Tottenham have come away with it. Leicester are pressing. Chris. Are you just excited? Because if you are, please keep it PG. I know you've seen Tierney, but... Um, um, hi, guys. What channel are we on? What minute at the clock? Brad, my position to new. One LTID TV, two. Let's have a chance to shot. Oh, it's just wide. Tierney just wide. Chris, you are... You're on a warning for, 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 for spoilers there. I am behind you by about 30 seconds, mate. I'll put you in the naughty corner. I mean, I can't because you're a mod, but I can put you in the naughty corner and we can play circles. Um, we're on LTID TV 2. We are at uh, 2 minutes and 27 seconds on my clock. So, Chris, you're probably about, like I said, 20, 30 seconds ahead of me. So, Chris. So, yes. Again, Killian, it's no spoilers. So, it, it doesn't matter what minute I am. Just wait for me to react. It's on the BBC. I'm having to watch it on my phone. So just bear with me. And again, Chris, naughty, because I wondered why you said that. And now I know why. It was a great effort by Tierney, just wide. As Tottenham have a free kick on the halfway line. Um, So far, to answer your question from earlier, Scott, the officials got everything spot on three minutes in. As Tottenham now have it at the back. They're passing it around almost, well, like Leicester they're trying to go down this. Um, left hand side now, but Leicester forced a mistake and try and counter themselves. But the pass into the middle is cut out. No worries, mate. No worries. It, it chops and changes for me, and you doesn't it when it's on the BBC. One minute you're ahead of me, the next one I am. Um, 
But yes, no spoilers, mate. As Scott Earl Tottenham have it now on the right hand side. The Barnes crossed in. Beth England there, but Cop claims it well. She claims it very well. Four minutes gone here at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, but it's Tottenham with the with their first chance of the game. It's been a lively opening four minutes of the game. Both teams having chances. Leicester's more clear cut than than Tottenham's, but got off to a good start. Both teams not going to shy away from this occasion. They're both clubs, remember. This is their first ever semi-final appearance in the FA Cup. So both teams have already made history and they both want to continue making history and reach their first ever FA Cup final. And it has just been confirmed to me there. Josie Green, calm down. Tottenham having a good position. If it does go nil-nil, just like the men's, it will go straight to extra time. There will be no replay at the King Power Stadium. This will go straight into extra time. And if necessary, it will go to penalties. And now, Leicester have a throw in their own half on their right-hand side. And they've managed to manufacture the ball up the pitch just a little bit just to give themselves a bit of a breathing space here as it's throwing inside now and it's so scrappy in that middle of the field Leicester lose the ball forcing Tottenham back but they have now given possession away to Tottenham Hotspur uh, Ashley Neville has it on the ride white um yeah that'd be great Scott if they could match the results they got in round four when they when they beat the likes I presume they beat the likes of Liverpool and and uh, Birmingham um, in the uh, Adobe FA uh, in the Adobe Women's FA Cup yeah, it's not the Fly Emirates here it's the Adobe I probably pronounced that wrong and people are going to mock me for it but that's what I saw yeah, it's Adobe FA Cup for the women's. Um, not as classy as uh, Fly Emirates, but I still, I don't think the girls would complain if they got to the final and ended up lifting the Adobe Cup today. Um, Leicester have it at the back. You've not missed much here, don't worry. Neither have I, thankfully. Six minutes in, Leicester have the ball well under control at the back. Um, but again, a wayward pass in the middle, and now Spurs have a chance to break away. Leicester flooding back to get numbers back. Oh, that's a great cross. What a save, but Cop, it was straight up. Uh, but that really should be 1-0 to Tottenham. Cop stayed strong. She made herself big. She should have been hit across. And then Cop may not have had a chance to have saved him. It was hit straight out of though. But Leicester already showing them frailties. Haven't kept have only kept one clean sheet in the last eight league games. Haven't won any of the last three games since that quarterfinals, and they're showing their frailties there. Cop of great save, but Tottenham do have themselves a corner, the first one of the half. Leicester need to defend these um, resolutely. Tottenham have very good aerial threats about them um, in in and around that Leicester in and around the box. Players moving around. The corner comes in. It's well. Well cleared by Leicester originally, but it's headed back across goal. And Leicester do get it clear, but only out on the right-hand side, back out to a top player. And Leicester's... Oh, that's a poor slip. The cross into the box isn't great, but it's not dealt with by Leicester. Static defending after the first attempt. Leicester scramble in and then the shot at the edge of the box. Well over by Bula. That's... Um, not doing well. Leicester being a bit staticky. Looks switched off a little bit of defence. No one's reacting to that second ball. Thankfully, Tottenham have not been able to make the most of them chances. What a strange bowl-looking haircut that Neville has for um for Tottenham. She's had that for years. I remember one of the first games I watched in WSL when they played Tottenham, and I was like, who put the bowl on her head? I shouldn't be insulting anybody for a haircut when I look like this in my entirety. But, yeah, um, it's a very strange haircut. As Leicester have it here, trying to cause an attack. And this is Rose. She's got him behind here. She's down on the left-hand side. Mavidi, do you like? She twists and turns, but it's blocked. But Leicester pick up the ball now on this left-hand side by Howard. Back to Rose. She's looking to twist and turn and get into the box. She can't quite 
Oh, and Tierney has gone down, but she has picked herself back up, thankfully for Chris and Leicester. She's not injured. But Leicester have given the ball away again, and now it's a 2v2. Leicester struggling to get players back. This is an open opportunity. Spurs with another chance to make it in the lead, and she's blasted over the ball, thankfully for Leicester. Nine minutes into the game, Tottenham really should be in the lead in this. Leicester need to be counting the blessings, and they need to focus up, because otherwise this is going to be a miserable afternoon for the Foxes if they keep giving away chances. Like this is a glorious chance. They get caught in possession, do Leicester. They're trying to chase. If they're running back towards goal, trying to get numbers back, it just creates the space for um, for the number 14 for Spurs. And she, she luckily for Leicester, gets it all wrong in the final moment and, and blazed it over. But Leicester need to read the warning sign. They need to get a foot in this game. You know, and it, this came from a chance that Leicester were in good position to attack Spurs from, and it ended up with Tottenham having a better chance. Um, Tottenham right now, 10 minutes in nearly, you would say, are oh, the team on top, and Leicester need to get a foothold of the ball and really wrestle and change momentum around here. As it is back with the Spurs goalkeeper, um, Tottenham just keeping hold of the ball uh, as Howard gives away a free kick halfway inside Tottenham's half. Mm -hmm. It's about well, face like she was on the attack there, Howard. But Leicester need to get a foothold in this game, they need to get a couple of passes together. Get a feel for the ball and get going because right now it is complete control by Tottenham. And they'll, they'll feel that they'll have to take the next chance. Otherwise, you know what? Despite the chances Tottenham have created in this early 10 minutes, in this first 10 minutes, you know what they say? It can all go wrong if um, if you don't take them chances. That's the men's side. Leicester men's will tell you enough. They didn't take chances against Bristol early on. They didn't take chances they had against Millwall early on and against Plymouth early on, and it cost them in the end. So Leicester will be hoping that as long as Tottenham don't take their chances they've been having, they can still uh, get their noses in front as Leicester's scrapping for the midfield battle. This one they win, though. Tottenham have been winning the early ones, but they haven't won this one. And now it's with Leicester at the back, two centre-backs passing it around. It's now played out on the left by Cayman, who hits it against the Spurs player. And just shy of the halfway line on the left-hand side, Cayman has a throw-in for the Foxes. She's looking for options, and it's given back to her, heavy touch. And... It could break though for Leicester in their favour after a slight tackle by Spurs play. It is. It's played out all right to Rantala. She cuts into the box. Mazy effort. Shots. That's in. It is in. Leicester have scored. Oh my God. I wish I could react more, but I really don't want to annoy my housemates. They've been saints to give it up. What a strike by Rantala on the right hand side. She cut in. Oh my gosh. She got in on the right hand side. She cut into the box. She let a shot flew in. The keeper had absolutely no chance. It smashed the back of the net. Ripped it open. And against the run play, what was I just saying? What a finish. Spurs have had the better chances but Leicester countered, attacked well. She was in acres of space on that right-hand side. She was allowed to cut in. She opened up the space for a left-footed shot, and she absolutely buried it into the top right-hand corner. Absolutely unsavable. What a, what a, what a goal for, for Leicester to get this FA Cup semi-final after a great start. The first time, I think, I believe they've ever been in front against Spurs and they can't up at the moment. It may have been all Spurs for the first 10 minutes in terms of chances created, but it's Leicester that have the lead. It's Leicester women one, Spurs nil in this pivotal FA Cup semi-final. What a goal by Rantala. Uh, Ranta, Rantala, Rantala, although Spurs are instantly coming forward. And as before, as other teams have managed to do, Leicester score and then concede, but not this time. It is cleared away. As you can see there, Rantala on 12 minutes with an absolute screamer. Oh, watch it back. What a goal that is. But now Spurs have a chance. 
edge of the box, but not as good as Rantala. Straight at cop, she manages to safely gather it in the hands. There you go. I, I have to, mate. I, I have to appreciate I've got two housemates that um, being loud is going to wake them up and piss them off, and I don't want to do that. Um, it was a left one celebration. In the second half, I can probably be a bit louder because we'll be in the afternoon, but I have to appreciate that they are asleep, so I have tried to keep it as quiet as I can. So you guys can still hear me, but I'm not disturbing them. So that was half to really not so great because it was an absolute cracking goal. Play that on the reel as, um, as, as Tottenham were punished for their mistakes. The women doing what the men couldn't, having a chance and capitalising on it as... Um, Takarada giving away a free kick, but we're well in deep into the Leicester, into the um, into the Tottenham half, and it's gone all the way back to the goalkeeper. I mean, Rantal has been scoring goals like that all season, but that one might be up there as goal of the season. Pressure applied by Leicester, forcing Tottenham back, and they have won a throw in halfway inside the Tottenham half, I believe, or is it a Tottenham throw? No, Leicester have got the throw halfway inside the Tottenham half. Um, that throw is thrown short. And uh, Leicester now will be looking to really ride that wave of confidence. The goal against run of players, it may be, but they are in front in this um, Adobe semi final. As Leicester played the ball forward, Rose is trying to get there. She's got there on the left hand side of the line. It's dragged back. Tenney. Oh, the captain, Tenney. Denied by the foot of the goalkeeper Spencer, it was nearly two. I nearly talked it into the cons into into existence. It was fantastic break up play in the middle of the park by Leicester. Spread out left um, um, Rose in the box. Tenney raced in on it on a pose, hit it first time. She's she's side footed it in. She set, the deflection sent the keeper the wrong way. But Spencer made the save. But now it's Leicester all of a sudden creating all the chaos, looking to really take advantage of this game, get themselves more in front. Came and plays the ball down to left. Rios will get there, but she has to keep it in. But she checks it back and uh, a foot in there keeps in and it's ball into the box. It's headed out by Spurs, but it's only as far as a Leicester player on the left hand side. Um, Mamiki just couldn't bring the control down. And unfortunately for her, uh, but Rose has won it back. No decision given. Rose goes to the box, has a shot, it's blocked by Spurs, and they are desperately trying to hang on to only being a goal down now, Spurs. Amazing what a goal does, doesn't it, folks? Leicester were being pinned back. Tottenham had a couple of glorious chances to take the lead. Leicester finally managed a masterful breakaway on the right-hand side, and now they find themselves in front, and they're all over Spurs. The ball has not left the Tottenham half since the restart, since the goal. Uh, Rose is causing absolute chaos on this left-hand side. She's created a chance for Tierney. It could be two, and got a second goal this early in the game. I know I say two in the dodgy scoreline, but that would be brilliant for Leicester to get themselves a couple of goals in front in this FA Cup semi-final. This, uh, this Ode B, this Ode B, Women's FA Cup semi-final. Um, Leicester with a throw on the left-hand side. They've taken it. But it has been cleared originally by Leicester, but they uh, by Tottenham, but they've recycled it. Back to the halfway line. Green now down the left-hand side. And Rose, Mamiki, sorry, she's got it. Rose and Mamiki both causing Tottenham chaos on this left-hand side. And again, Tottenham can clear it, but not far enough. And Leicester get the ball away and they keep hold of possession. Um, it's recycled back. And that's a poor ball. That's ambitious. And Tottenham have the chance to break, but the ball over the top, way too much on it. Nobody was making a run for Tottenham. And Cop has uh, the ball back at her feet. Um. Yeah, Green giving away the ball cheaply for Leicester. Sloppy passes. It actually led to a couple of chances for Spurs. Uh, she'll want to stop doing that. And I'm sure Jenny Foster, the interim Leicester manager, will be asking her to stop doing that. Peterman taken out late there. We could see the first card of the afternoon. 
Amy James Cerner and correctly, rightly booked 19 minutes in the first yellow card. It was late. It wasn't like horrible. It wasn't that. The ball does get away from Ansar. She goes and she just gets it all wrong. And the number 14 for Tottenham goes into the book rightly. Referee's not messing around. None of these 65 warnings before I book you because it's only a match straight in the book. Yellow card. Amy James Turner. Sorry, not number 14. Number four in the book for Tottenham. And we are 19 minutes into this game. And Leicester have a free kick. It's just inside the, the Tottenham half. It's the left-hand side. But if they've shown anything so far that, that this game... They can put some dangerous crosses, probably not all the way into the box. It is a bit far out for that, but if they can get a couple of flick on headers and a knockdown that falls kindly for them, Leicester could get a chance from this set piece here. It is it is a difficult chance. Mamiki flicks it. It's headed by Beth England for Tottenham. It's away on this right-hand side, but the pressure's being kept on by Rantelaar, and now Tottenham trying to pass the way out of trouble. They've got it on this... Um, on their left-hand side, trying to pass it around the back. Turns out it's infectious in all areas of the sports. It's playing it out the back. The high press by Leicester, forcing Tottenham, but they have managed to get out there and over to halfway line. But Leicester have the numbers back. Spurs don't really have that many bodies overly committed forward. And in the end, CJ Bott cuts it out and puts it out for a throw-in on halfway for Tottenham Hotspur. And it's thrown in play now. Neither team slacking off the ball. The one in this game played at a high pace. It's Tottenham have it on halfway now. Uh, Tierney shrugged off by the Tottenham midfielder. It's now Tottenham looking to come forward. They're looking to uh, amend for them chances they squandered before uh, Leicester took the lead in this FA Cup tie. Yes, this is an FA Cup semi-final. It's currently Leicester women won. Spurs one. We are twenty minutes into the into the first half. It is one nil to the Foxes, and as it stands right now, they have a they have one foot in Wembley um, to take on the winners of Manchester United and Tottenham. Still a long way to go, obviously, though, in this game as Leicester deal with a fidgety throwing, but only as far as the edge of the box. But the ball was touched on too heavy by the Spurs player, and Leicester have a chance to clear. And well done there by Leicester. Keeping hold of the ball more importantly than I think as it was still in the half. As Cop plays a lovely ball out wide and Rose is going to chase it on. The goalkeeper thought about coming, but the defender deal with it. But Leicester have a throw in in a very dangerous area, close to the corner flag on the left-hand side. And Leicester have the chance to press bodies forward and um, the goal scorer Rantla purring in the box waiting for another opportunity to lash home another goal um in this game it's crossed into the box headers go up peterman nearly got there leicester trying to keep the pressure on it's done very well cj bot's done very well and she has won leicester their first corner of the game 22 minutes gone very good pressure but very well defended in fairness to um uh, to the Leicester, to the Tottenham defender, she tracks CJ Bot all the way. She doesn't give her a, an inch to get a cross in, and uh, but Leicester have to settle for the corner, which goal scorer Rantala is taking. Um, she puts her arm in the air. The ball's whipped in. Get her on the men's team because that's a decent cross. At least she can cross the header, though. Unfortunately, not the greatest of power um, or, or accuracy. Um, but it's a chance and someone sent Rantelar to train and show the men's how to put a corner in because that was a decent spot, pretty much bang on the penalty spot. There's pressure on the header. Howard didn't get the greatest of elevation uh, right or or trajectory on her header, but already better than Jewsbury Hall and Fatawu and Mavadidi's corners uh, in the last three games, I'll tell you that much. Um, Tottenham have it though on halfway. They're trying to break forward here. It is a four versus four here on the right hand side. Coming more central now. A couple of step overs. They play it out right. Naz on the right for Tottenham. Gets into the box. Gets down to the bar and crosses. And thankfully, Leicester, it was a flash across the goal. Cop couldn't get a hand on it to try and stop it. But thankfully, no Tottenham player gambled on the cross to get there. And it is still remains Tottenham 
Hotspur women nil, Leicester women two, 24 minutes. But that's warning signs. Tottenham showed warning signs before it, and and and, it, and since Leicester scored, they have been contr- they, they controlled a good period. Both teams have had like a five five to ten minute period of domination in 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 the other team's half. But Tottenham just showing there that if you're not gonna go, if you're not able to get the goals that, that could potentially kill this tie off whilst you're on top, we're gonna we're gonna keep going at you. We're gonna keep trying to get ourselves back into this. And Tottenham will be desperate, especially being at home in what is a fairly packed Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, may I say. All the bottom tier has got bumped in seats all the way around. It's a great spectacle for the women's game in this important FA Cup Adobe semi-final as Tottenham come away from um, Leicester here, passed it around the back and now have unlocked it through the midfield. They're going down their right-hand side now. England has it for Tottenham. Uh, she could twists and turns, makes her way into the box, but great work by Leicester, but she's still got the ball, has Beth England. And despite um, Green's best uh, efforts and appeals, it is going to be a second corner of the game for Tottenham Hotspur. Leicester... <laughs> This is a great contest already, guys. I'm not saying this because we're winning. It has literally been end to end, parts to parts. Tottenham controlled the first ten or so, eight, eight to eight, eight to ten minutes. Leicester then got a grip on the game a bit more, got the goal, have been in front ever since then. But these last few minutes now, it's been all Spurs again. So, um, um, Yeah, there's five watching probably on our channel. Look, there's 18 of you in total watching this. Get over to the LTID TV2 channel, hit the like button, hit subscribe, and make sure you're showing the support to that channel as well. Because we want to get the likes on both. You leave a like on LTID TV1, of course, but make sure you're going over to LTID TV2 and add in the likes up there. Michael, the odds are against Leicester, but they're showing more bottom than the men's team. Damn right they are right now. They're showing more aggression and they've learned to score a goal away from home, which is something Leicester are allergic to. The corner didn't come to anything, um, otherwise I would have spoken. So don't you worry. Leicester have had it at the back, passing it out from the back. Cayman has it on the left-hand side, but her pass isn't able to be met by a Leicester player. But then the, the, the Tottenham player, Spence, she... Um, she gets too carried away in trying to win the ball back off, um, I think it's Mamiki. Yeah, she gets too aggressive with her and Mamiki wins a free kick. Um, and let's have a chance to get a foothold back in this game and take control of the possession. It's a great ball by Mamiki down to Rose, who's caused topping all sorts of chaos early in this half. She's beat the defence. She's shot. Blast. It was a tight angle, but she was... She's confident enough to take the shot on. It was just past the right-hand post. She cut back on the defender, absolutely sat it down, took the shot, and it's just over the bar from um, Rose, the Canadian international. And like I said, Leicester are looking good. But so are Spurs. They've been dangerous when they've attacked. And despite Leicester winning the initial goal kick ball, Tottenham have it on the right-hand side, but the ball was played too early, and it, the flag goes up for offside. So, so far, so good um, for Leicester. Yeah, well, it's a break, just in case you didn't hear that. If you are watching this for LTID TV 1, the watch-alongs are on LTID TV 2. So just make sure you go over there and watch it there. We're trying to grow the channel, which is why the channels are linked together for watch-alongs. But we'd re- I'd really appreciate it. If all 20 of you are in right now, if you haven't already, went over to the, the second channel, TID TV 2, which is mainly broadcast, and showed your love and support to that channel. I'd really appreciate it. That would be fantastic to see you there. Because, you know, whilst there's 20 of you in, if you're not liking the video on my on the LTID 2 channel, it won't grow as much as this as this wonderful channel. So, like I said, even if you want to do it on your phone, open up and go and show, show a like on it. Let's do it. As top and break here on the right hand side, they've got into the middle. Leicester have numbers back. It's a three versus five in Leicester's favour. But the pass has cut Leicester open on the left hand side here, and Beth England shot comes in and Bot read the danger and blocked it out. But Tottenham again, like I said, this game has gone one way then the other. Leicester a little bit at the start. 
Tottenham got a foothold on the game and dominated up until about the 10th minute. Leicester scored an absolute beauty to put themselves in front in this game and then control the game. And now it's end-to-end Leicester chances. In, um, I said England because she's a player for Tottenham. Tottenham chances. But Leicester do look a bit more defensively organised. The balls are getting played in behind on the wings, but they seem to be covering in the middle. But Tottenham have their third corner of the game. And that's a very good corner. Well dealt with by Carp. She got a, she got double punched fish to it, um, right out of the way. Um, you know it was a good corner in though. Um, Leicester could use these coaches in the men's side, telling them how to take corners. I tell you from either side, right? Now, very good corners, both sides have taken. But it is all the way back with the Tottenham goalkeeper. Now, it is weird having these moments of, of um slow paced football because it's been very very impactful and very high tempo game from both sides credit to both of them this is a huge occasion for both sides both the first time how many times can i say both uh, uh you think i didn't realize what i'm saying all the time no first semi-final for leicester and tottenham one of them can only make history go on. Will it be Leicester? They're in the driving seat at the moment. 30 minutes played. They are currently one of the lot. They are the side that will make their own club history and make their first ever FA Cup final. Um, but there is a long way to go. We are just coming up onto my time, onto 30 minutes into the game. Leicester now will be hopefully thinking of trying to get into half time 1 0. To the good. That is now the goal for Leicester. There's 15 minutes to go to half time, and Leicester will be looking to keep this lead. They you know, they've not they've kept one clean sheet in the last eight games uh, in all competitions. You know they haven't won in the last three in the league, so they'll be lucky to get through 45 minutes without conceding. And even better still to be coming in with the lead um, and hold them in good stead for Jennifer Foster's. Um, uh, Leicester City side interim manager since the sacking of the Leicester manager previous to them. Um, Leicester's pressing though has one more uh, a throw in in line with the Tottenham box, and just as it went through the middle, the ball kind of bounced. Takarada, she couldn't bring it under the troll, uh, under control. And uh, now Tottenham coming forward and driving forward through the middle of the box, she's had a shot. But it's tame. Naz with the shot there for Tottenham. She was causing trouble. She drove from the right hand side to the middle of the goal. Leicester didn't commit. They didn't put pressure on her. And she ran at them and she got her a bit more space. And she, she fought like Rantel. You know what? I'm going to have a go. The number seven, Naz. And thankfully for Leicester, it was wide. But if it was on target, I don't know if cops may get near that. I'll be honest with you. So Leicester need to be careful in this game. And they need to not allow so much space between themselves and the um and, and you know and 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 the Tottenham attack when they come forward because they do look dangerous. You know, like I said, just as Leicester have had their chances, Tottenham have had theirs as well. And and probably apart from the Leicester goal, have been more threatening in that sense. Although Turney had one saved by the foot of the goalkeeper. Ah. And Tottenham win a free kick. Mamiki given a foul. And I believe she's been booked. I'm not sure if it was a bookable offence. I think she clipped her. So it, it was from behind, I believe, as well, the challenge. So I can maybe understand why it's been given. I don't know. That's not... That does, I'm trying to look. She doesn't touch her. Oh, no, there is a little bit of... No, but I don't... Okay, well... Uh, Maminki's in the book for Leicester. I'm not sure it is. Leicester may have cause to feel egregious if this free kick's going. It is in shooting range. It's 25 yards out. I'll be a little bit further than that on the right hand side. Suggestions that it would be floated into the into the box for Tottenham to attack, but it is. Don't rule anything out from this sort of range. Probably more about 30 yards out. Actually, I thought it was a bit closer than that when where she fell down and where it's been taken. But Tottenham have a dangerous free kick on this right-hand side. Can Leicester deal with this? Can they get it clear? Can they 
maintain their 1-0 advantage they have here. The ball into the box. Cop commits and gets a decent fist away on it. Gets it clear of any uh, swarming Tottenham players. And it is cleared by Leicester Tierney trying to complete the clearance. And Tottenham do keep the ball, but they are forced back to the halfway line. And it goes out left and it is cleared again by Leicester. Cop did very well from that free kick. It was a great ball in to honest with you. It's not an area goalkeepers like. But she reads it early. She realised she's going to get something, some form of contact. So she can't claim the ball completely. So she just fists it again, fists the ball away, punches the ball away. I need to choose my words wisely. Don't know what I say sometimes. But yes, 33 minutes gone. Just uh, over 10 minutes to go in this first half. Leicester are wanting to keep this lead. This would be vital for them to get in at half time. A goal to good. Um, and this is vital. You know, Tottenham are going to keep trying for the rest of this half to try and get themselves back level. They are at home. It is at the... Sorry, and as I get pins and needles in my right leg. <laughs> Worst time ever. But as it is, it is still 1-0 to Leicester. Rantler's goal separating the sides. And boy, is it a goal worth watching again after this match. As Tottenham trying to create something. Tempo's just ever so slightly dropped these last couple of minutes. Um, half chances and a free kick um, here. But Leicester probably suiting them down. Winning the game. It's closer and closer to half time. You want to get in at the break with the advantage. Uh, you probably want that end-to-end -end game to come to an end um, and then try and maybe grab a second uh, if the opportunity arises, which might arise here. Leicester pressure has given them the ball. Halfway inside the Leicester half, Mamika plays into the box. Rose has it now. She's trying to control it. She gets it back out wide to Mamiki, who has options there to the left of her. It's played there. The ball's crossed it by Cayman. It actually it's a mishit cross. It didn't actually go into the box. It hit the top of the roof of the net. Um, but there you go. A, a bit of a dash of inspiration by Leicester. They pinched it halfway inside the half. Unfortunately, the cross wasn't that brilliant. It was a first-time cross. But Leicester's showing that if you allow them a, an inch, they will definitely take a yard. As, and and their high press could win with the ball here. But too high a press and too... Too intrigued and pressed by CJ Bott wins Tottenham a free kick. But I tell you what, if she doesn't give the free kick there, Leicester were in because it was a bit 50 50, but it, it is a free kick. But it was unlucky there because if that had not been deemed as a foul or she'd have got it a bit cleaner, Leicester were through on goal. As I think Mamiki got to the loose ball and was had no one near her. So, Leicester know they're capable of hurting Tottenham. They've already done it once this game. And this high press is working in Leicester's favour as Tottenham are passing it around the back still, despite the Leicester press and despite the troubles it's caused them. Leicester have had their most advantageous uh, spells in this game when Tottenham have uh, given up the ball in the middle field, which they've done again. Takarada superbly well. Winning the ball, Ran Tyler, the goal scorer, gives it to Peterman, who organises her feet to get the ball off to Rose just in time. That was meant for a pass for Takarada, but it was inadvertently, does get to her inadvertently. Um, and Leicester just happy to keep this ball. They go back to halfway line. Um, Tottenham forcing them back into their own half. 37 minutes gone. Um, Leicester... Now have it all the way back at Cop, playing it out the back. They are they are taking the edge out of this, and if they can see the if they can see the next six minutes where they have the, the control of the ball, they'll be very happy with this. Jennifer Foster will be very happy with the girls' performance. Uh, Rose, who's having a fantastic performance, she's been involved in everything good with Leicester. But Peterman, heavy touch, tried to find a Leicester player that wasn't there, and now two v two. Naz has a chance. She's been allowed the space again, and she overran it. To, he didn't really versus work in Leicester's way, but they've given away another corner, and Tottenham trying to hit Leicester on the counter. They're trying to 
draw less throughout and wait for a lesser mistake. And that's been the best for both sides, really, waiting on their op oppositions to make mistakes. Leicester have capitalised on one occasion to the fullest extent on a Tottenham mistake. And now Tottenham trying to capitalise on, on, on another lesser mistake. They have, I believe, their fifth corner of the game. Cop, Cop and Leicester collectively have dealt with the corners. Is going to play short? No, there's a run in there, but it's on the six-yard box, and it's just not really much the top and player could do there. It was it whipped him with some pace. She got a head on it, but that's all she could do. She couldn't get any power or direction. Um, there you go, guys. There's a hero for you. Please ever jump over to the Last Until I Die TV to subscribe and smash the like button because that way, what we can do once you lovely folks now know where the watch longs are posted on LTID TV too, and you love to follow the WSL, you can go and subscribe to the channel. Please do. Please drop a like on it, and then eventually we will, we can just stream on there and get you folks here. As Rose has won the ball here on the left hand side, she goes down. Penalty appeals, but not really from the fans. Rose is gutted she couldn't keep the ball. She's been um it really is, Chris. It's a it's a great for the neutrals. And so far, given the score line, it's uh it's a great game for Leicester, who, just in case you didn't know, are trying to make they're in their first FA Cup semi-final today. They're trying to make their first FA Cup final. As again, Leicester break clear. Rose, Takarada tries to play Rose in, but it's cut out by Spurs. But again, Leicester winning it back here. Um, and a Tottenham player has gone down. Spence realises she's not getting a free kick and goes on. But yes, if all 23 of you in chat have gone over and subscribed to LTID2 and hit the like button on the stream over there, and that maybe means after a couple more streams and a couple of more of you have started head over and over there, we can really go solo with that channel and do watch alongs over there solo-ly. So I appreciate all your support if you've gone over there and done it. it. It does mean a lot if you've gone over there and watching it. Like I said, we are just trying to grow this channel uh, and get it going. So please try and watch it over there. I'm sure Chris will not mind if the viewer swaps around. If there's only, you know, Chris, Chris would... Love some extra views on this one, but I'm pretty sure if, if the majority, if not all of you, went over to LTID TV 2 to watch it, he'd be more than happy to see that happen. So do it for the boss. The boss has spoken, haven't you, Chris? Um, let's have a free kick delivered into the box, but it's headed away by Tottenham. Green and the ref is going to have to stop that. Volley the shot straight into Spence, but it's a, it's a head injury. Uh, see, the boss has spoken. You've got to do it because this opportunity to get you guys involved and get you, um, um, you know, get you over on that channel and get you watching and get you enjoying the WSL and, and, and the content that I'm going to be bringing you over there. You're going to have to get subscribed to it because this isn't a permanent thing. You know, you won't be able to always rely on LTID TV one for your notifications. We will be cutting the tie uh, there and then going flying solo. And this is a big occasion. I want it to stream to all platforms. But you guys need to go and show me your love over there and hit that like button um, and, 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 and gr help me grow that channel. Let it flourish on its own accord. Um, appreciate it. Yeah, five likes on the video so far. Just a handful of you over on that channel watching. That's where I need you. I need you watching it over there. Get you guys involved um, and enjoy, hopefully enjoy, my commentary uh, as as best I can as Josie Green goes into the book a foul on halfway um and rightly Josie Green is um is is in the book so yeah there we go I mean Mamiki was covering but um Josie Green gets herself a yellow card, the third of the afternoon, second for a Leicester player. Referee's not being lenient to any player here. It, it, you're going in the book, you're going in the book. There's no 10 warnings beforehand like the men get. It's, that's a foul, that's a yellow card, you're getting a card. Leicester here now, 43 minutes in, and Deanne Rose, she could be... Oh, oh she hits it with her right foot. She got it horribly wrong. She, she, she aimed to go across the goal, but... 
an extra touch too many. It guided it away from her, and she was always on the stretch. There, she should have hit it first time. That second touch allowed Spurs to get players back, and she just couldn't get the shot right, and Tottenham will breathe a sigh of relief because that was a great chance as Rose, who for me has been the player of the match so far for Leicester. She's been causing chaos down the left. She was on the right that time. She's very versatile as Rose. And she's been causing them all kinds of problems. So Leicester try and get in here now. 44 minutes, one minute left, one and a half minute left to play in this first half of the WSL. Leicester trying to maybe sneak in a second and really get the, the impetus going over there uh, on that left-hand side. It's a throw deep inside the Spurs half. Now Leicester have it. They will want, love a second goal just before half-time. It's cut back to Takarada. If Tierney holds it up, it doesn't quite fall. Uh, Leicester's way. Now Tottenham trying to break. Everyone is trying to break quickly and get themselves level for half-time. 60 seconds left, plus any injury time that's going to have on. Spence, though, well shepherded by the Leicester defence. Well done. Retire the goal scorer. Clears up the mess. Um, and it was absolutely brilliantly recoveredly done. Um, as we come into the last 30 seconds, I mean, the work rate by both sides has been fantastic. It may not have been the prettiest at times, and, and the passes have gone askew, but the work rate cannot be argued with. It's a brilliant um, work rate effort. As Rose chasing the ball down on the left-hand side, and it probably is a Ashley Neville there, the bowl hair cut, as I said earlier. It says me, you know what I mean? Uh, Neville... Wins the free kick as there is just one minute. We are into time added on one minute stoppage time. Leicester will be hoping that they can see this minute out and get in at half time in this Adobe FA Cup semi final. Um, a chance of, to play in the final at Wembley is at stake for, for both these clubs. And Leicester will be 45 minutes away from a trip to Wembley. As Leicester have it on the Leicester side, but the cross is low and cleared. By Tottenham, 30 seconds left now. Leicester will just want to keep hold of this ball. And there is no real reason at the moment to go too hard and push for a second, not this close to half time. And they're doing that superbly by passing it around, waiting for Spurs to, to come at them. And that could be it, guys. That could be the action for the half. Um they're Leicester looking to come in at half time. 1 0 up, and there it is. That's is exactly what they would do. It is half time here at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. It is Leicester City Women 1 with an absolute screamer from Ranselaar in 12 minutes. Tottenham Hotspur have the chances, but they have failed to score. It's Leicester City Women 1, Tottenham Hotspur Women 0 in this Adobe FA Cup semi final. Leicester have one foot in Wembley Stadium. Leicester are 45 minutes away now from Wembley and an, F an Adobe FA Cup final. You guys, if you haven't already, go on over, get yourself a drink, get yourself something to eat, have yourself a, have, have yourself a little bit of lunch. you got, what, 10, 10 odd minutes. I'm going to go away for a few minutes, water the plants, have myself a break, make myself a drink as well. And, you know, if you've, you've got a few spare minutes and you haven't already, LTRD DB2, the home of WSL watch alongs like this, go and show your love. That's where the main action is supposed to be. If you if you do love this sort of stuff, that's where you need to be. So if you're watching this now LTI TV TV one, go over to LTI TV do give it a like, give the channel subscribe, give it a watch on there for a little bit, and let's get all the views over on that channel. You know, let's go get all the views over on that channel, really boost it up, get the numbers going and get us going. That's my last shameless plug of the half. I will see you guys in around about five or so minutes while I take a break. Yes, Scott, it is. Just as I leave, it is half time.
Hello, I am back. I'm behind the curtain. Um, we are about to get underway for the second half. It is currently 1-0 to the Foxes. Where am I? Here I am, hiding behind the curtains. Well, not them curtains, but the curtains of the screen. Um, I hope you're all well. We're looking for an exciting first, second half to match the first half. It was end-to-end -end stuff. It was a great game. Keefe. Nice to see you. You say, come on, Spurs. Obviously, we're a lesser channel. We hope that doesn't happen. But you've been quite impressive and had your chances to get in this game. So this game is not over by a long shot. Uh, live at the, uh, the the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. It is, of course, Leicester 1, uh, Tottenham Hotspur 0. Rantel with that absolute peach of a goal with the separating two sides. And Leicester instantly breaking up play. Well, let's have a chance to make it 2-0 straight away, kick off, oh, scr scrumble, 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 and Tottenham get back and defend well in numbers, and nearly within the first 20 seconds of the second half, from a Tottenham kickoff, Leicester broke, the high ball wasn't red, uh, defence, poor clearance, the midfield switched off, Leicester broke, it was a three-on-two in Tottenham's favour, and they just got enough bodies back to clear that out. Um, but a great electric start by Leicester. Tottenham looking for a way back into this game. Leicester are shy of 45 minutes away from their first ever FA Cup final. This is both clubs' first ever semi-final. They've never made it this far before until this season, until today. And Leicester are, like I say, 44 minutes. And I'm not counting any minute down. Honestly, I'm not. Um, you know... Uh, they are into the semi-final course. The Spurs were to find an equaliser. This game does have extra time and penalties to be played. This game gets decided today. There is no replay of the King Power. It will get decided at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium today, one way or another. Leicester will be hoping that extra time isn't needed and they can hold on to this 1-0 lead. One clean sheet in the last eight, so they'll be very thankful of it as well. Uh, CJ Bott has it deep in the Leicester half here. She just clear it, but oh, oh no, it is a Leicester player on it, and they've won a free kick on the right hand side. Uh, Rantala winning the free kick there for Leicester, the goal scorer playing well. And like Scott says, while you're on the channel, please, if you're watching this now, it's TV one. I know I've said this a lot, but it's just so I can get the channel going and growing. WSL watch alongs like this are on our second channel, LTID EV2. We're streaming to both to grow the channel for a little bit. But if you want to keep up with the content, you want to get over to LTID TV2, to LTID TV2 and make sure you subscribe to that channel to follow it more. As England crossed come shot, caught everybody unawares, nearly picked out the top corner, found food for Cop and Leicester. It was uh, high and wide by about, a, a good yard or so um but yeah make sure you're going over to lti tv2 and subscribing to that channel because that's where this watch along watch alongs like this happen so where all your wsl leicester city content will happen it's where leicester city quizzes happen um so make sure if you are on lti tv1 watching it you head on over to that channel um and you do go and watch it over there and obviously do all the good stuff and, and like and subscribe it. Like it on both videos. Be more appreciated if you want to be an absolute legend. And yeah, just make sure you're doing all that good stuff. It's great to have you in. Whether you're a Leicester fan, a WSL fan, or even like Keithy, a Spurs fan, it'd be much appreciated. And I love all your support to the channel. As Drew Spence has it for Tottenham, but the heavy touch... Come to Leicester, let's go. Oh, that's another chance. And again, just like the start of the second half, Leicester had the first chance, but it has been all Tottenham since then. Another chance. This time it's just fizzed over the right hand side of Cops Bar. She was beaten if it was on target, to be honest with you. It did go actually in the end, it actually went quite a quite a bit um wide. Um you know, so Leicester getting away with a certain pressure, but they did that in the first 10 minutes of the first half and found the net. Can they do it here in this in the second half? A great, ambitious pass by Mamiki to um, Rose's cut out by Neville. And now Tottenham trying to come forward on this right-hand side. Uh, lovely blink-up play for, Le uh, for Tottenham and Leicester need to be careful. Uh, and Mamiki there... Wins Tottenham the first corner of the second half. I believe their sixth 
of the game, but Mamiki read Neville well and shepherded it out uh, at the expense of a corner to Tottenham. And the crowd, a very, very, very good crowd at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. All of the bottom sections and even some of the mid-tier section has seats, has people all around it here in what is for both clubs a huge occasion it is the adobe women's fa cup semi-final in case you're wondering what type of game this was this isn't the league game this is the fa cup semi-final for both these clubs today as the ball comes in and it's not cleared and it's scrambled oh the corner from Tottenham causing chaos Leicester got a half foot in there to clear it couldn't quite get it uh away it's a near post one cop can do it and then a shot smashed over the bar um the top them let's uh, need to get a foothold on the game just like they did in the first half because Tottenham having the early chances Leicester will be looking to do to Tottenham what they did in the first half though if they can get hold of the ball and punish them for not taking these chances as Leicester do have it on halfway but they can only get it as far as a Tottenham player and Tottenham recycle the ball all the way back to their goalkeeper and uh, first five minutes has been end to end uh, again. It's been very entertaining to watch um, and do commentary on. But Leicester will be hoping to um, to get a foothold in this second in this second half. They're yet to do so. Um, yeah, minus that first twenty seconds. As Peterman played the ball down the right hand side for Leicester, unfortunately, Tottenham. Uh, were the only players there and they've come away with it halfway inside their own half now great pressing from Leicester Leicester's, Leicester's pressing is what caused the chaos and, le and eventually led to the goal for the Foxes in the first half um, they were looking to cause um, chaos and disrupt Tottenham and, 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 and punish Tottenham for the mistakes as they make one on halfway line and after a, a bit of argy bargy and a foul by Bitzes, it is a bit Mimiki who is down for the boxes. Hopefully, she is okay. It's a halfway line, it's a free kick. Bitzet is getting a talking to. Now, then, not been many times the referee's talked to. She's been very firm but fair with her decision making. She's been giving cards out. I just wonder if that should be. Ooh. High leg, it's a stray leg, it's no intent behind it, but it's a bit high. Should there be a card? She's getting a long talking to to Bizets, but no card for Bizet. The number 14 for one probably gets away with one there. Um, the cider looks a bit weak. Uh, so Scott, well, it, it does come with the sponsor, Cornwall. Uh, Cornwall, one of my favourite places to go in the UK. If you ever want an advert, St. Ives Holidays, if you want to spot them in Cornwall, uh, one and all, the best the best place to go for a good beer or to hold your orange squash, if you mean. Not a paid promotion or anything like that, but St. Ives Holidays, you want to you wanna get me involved in that? I, I, I can talk about that just as much as I could talk about Leicester in football. Yeah, so you get it, get it trending, get it tweeted. Centaur's Holidays, sponsor this channel. Let's get it on. Of course, this watch along is in partnership. I believe this one is in partnership with Story Hills Radio. So we already have one partnership. We'll have them all. We'll have them all, won't we, guys? So make sure you check out Story Hills Radio. A certain uh, boss of this company does a breakfast show on there, so go and check that out. But um, And, of course, Dave who will, once I organise it with him, be appearing on LCID TV 2's quiz, the LCFC Football Pyramid. Dave will be taking on, he'll be the second contestant to take on and see if he can conquer the Football Leicester Pyramid that is that was tackled by Craig uh, Northern in, in episode one. So if you like Leicester quizzes, again, 30, 32 of you in watching. Get over to LTID V2. Watch it on there. Let's have a chance here. They've managed to press forward from the middle here. But it's kind of a heavy pass back. The, 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 the Leicester still keep up the ball, but they have been forced back to halfway line. Go over to the Leicester's on the I2 channel. Get get them numbers up there. Um, um, as Leicester have the ball now all the way back on halfway line. They've allowed Tottenham to get their shape back a little bit. Mamiki looks to go forward, but she's first forced to turn around and um, 
and go back. Uh, but Leicester still have it, still waiting, just ever presently waiting and being patient and trying to get the ball and win a free kick. Summerland bringing down um, a Leicester player there and Leicester have a free kick. Still just inside their own half, um, but it's a, it's a chance for Leicester to move the ball around, get their foot under the ball, um, because the game... They've taken the edge out of Tottenham's first five five minutes or so. Fifty seven minutes into the uh, fifty five minutes, sorry, into the game here, still one 0 to the Foxes. Ball down the left, play to Rose, who for me has been the player of the match so far. Very creative. She wasn't quite able to keep that in as some Leicester subs are sent out to warm up on the uh, on the touchline there by Jennifer Foster the interim Leicester manager who is going to see out the rest of this WSL season. And it's so far less than, well, less than, what, uh, I can't do maths, less than 30 minutes away from taking Leicester to Wembley. Uh, um, the men won the FA Cup a few years ago. Leicester will potentially be playing Chelsea, the infamous force that Chelsea are, in the WSL at least, uh, under Hayes as manager her final season. They, of course, take on Manchester United later on. So the winner of this game will have a tough task ahead of him in the final, but it will be an occasion that hopefully I'll be able to bring you should Leicester make it to the final. Tottenham had a substitute in place ready to come on, but it's Leicester with the ball halfway line. And it's a bit of a tactical foul. I think Tottenham want to make that substitution and get it on. I didn't note any half-time substitutions Um I had to go water the plants a bit closer to kick off. I don't think any changes have been made by either side. I haven't heard anyone noted differently to what I am hearing. Tottenham do not make the substitution yet. They're not, uh, not allowed to make the substitute. It's stripped off and ready to come on. But uh, Leicester give it away on halfway line. Hold on to the ball too long there was Rantala. And now Tottenham with a chance to counter here. There's a chance here. That's a great, great challenge there. No foul given, and I think Leicester have got a goal kick from that. That's a fantastic bit of defending work by Leicester in the middle of the park. It was a chance for Tottenham to try to break down, and they are going to make that substitute now. It is Bazette coming off for Spurs, the number... Number... The number... It's like, like dramatic pause. Wait for the numbers to come up. Martha Thomas coming on. For Tottenham, that's the number 17, Martha Thomas coming on for Pizet, the number 11 for Tottenham. So Tottenham, they make the first move off the bench. They are obviously chasing the game. They are 1-0 down here in this uh, Adobe FA Cup semi-final live. Well, watch along live here, but live at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium in what is a very decent crowd attendance for the semi-final. Uh, Leicester a little over 30 minutes away from a place at Wembley where the final will take place. Um, they'll be the first ones to cement their name in, in the 2024 Adobe Women's Cup, FA Cup final, uh, making history on their way, on their way to making history, um, which they already have done by being here this, this pointless season. This is the furthest they've ever got in this competition. Uh, not as end-to-end -end as the first half was, but the battle is really heating up in the middle of the park. Leicester and Tottenham trying to keep better control of the ball in the middle as Leicester now react with their first sub of the um, of the game. It is Captain Sam Turney's coming off. Uh, Jennifer had a long word with her at half-time. There's obviously some things need to be changed. It hasn't maybe worked out for her. She had a chance to make it 2-0. It's a good... It's, Maybe a slightly fortunate save by the goalkeeper to stop her denying her a goal. Sam Tierney comes off and Palganda comes on for Leicester. The number 18 is on for the captain. And I didn't quite see who the armband went to. I think it went to Sophie Howard. Um, one of the players that has been in and around Leicester for many a year. As Leicester win the ball halfway, no foul given. Tottenham wanted the ball, but heavy passing. Gives Tottenham the ball back on this right-hand side, just inside their own half. As Neville throws it into the Leicester half, Leicester pressure. And you know what? 
to me, to you a little bit. Leicester pressure, pull, pull out for a throw-in. Leicester pressure, wins them a throw-in back. And Leicester have it now back with Cop. And plays it out wide, just bopped. Who's looking for an overlapping run. She cuts inside to no avail because nobody's there for her. So she's forced to go back to Cop. But Leicester getting a foothold on this wall. Just out, just under an hour gone here at the uh, Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Um, Leicester play a dangerous ball down the left-hand side now, looking to get in quickly behind Tottenham Rose. Phenomenal performance so far, but she's well tackled there. But late falls back to a Leicester player. And it's work his way to box and Mimiki, the, the ball to a more hitter. She wasn't really able to control it. And now Spurs, they'll be trying to counter-attack. Leicester do have numbers back in advantage. More players getting back. So they are forced to slowly build this attack on top of them. They have the ball on the halfway line. Passed out to the left-hand side. Leicester need to keep an eye on this as a driving across the box. It's out on this right-hand side. Inside the box now. And then a curling effort. Well, Leicester breathe a sigh of relief. That was a very wasteful effort by Naz for Tottenham. The number seven, she's had a few chances, nothing really to test Cobb. She hasn't had too much to deal with apart from um, collecting, uh, dealing with corners and um, and a tame effort. She really hasn't had a save to make. Um, and that effort, keep them coming. Keep them coming, Tottenham. If that's the best you've got to offer, Leicester will surely make their way into the final of the Adobe FA Cup in 2024. The time is at the 61-minute mark here. Tottenham still yet to really create a golden opportunity to get themselves back in this game. Remember, there is no replay. This will not go to a replay at the King Power. This will go all the way, extra time and penalties necessary. But Leicester pressing the break on halfway line. They've got it in the box now, right hand side. Pedal goes down. It's a good challenge. No appeals from the players at all. But Leicester win it back here on the right hand side. Great work there by, I believe, the substitute and sub substitute Palganda as the cross comes in and it's blocked. Not completely out though. So Tottenham trying to shield it. Leicester trying to win a corner or throw it in that far corner. And they've actually won the ball superbly well there. CJ Box, she's doing fantastic well to hold the ball up. She's actually got past the top and player. And let's have a chance here. Well worked. Fantastic work by CJ Bot there. And curse to the commentator. No, it's a deflection. Leicester have earned themselves a corner from absolute fantastic pressure. Great done. And it's applauded by them travelling Foxes fans who have come in numbers on their own. You know, 12, a 12 kick a 12 p.m. kickoff. In London, there's no mean feat to travel. Well done to the following supporters that have made it there. Oh, that's brilliant. Leicester now will be looking to attack this corner. Some of these girls should be sent to train with the first team the way they cross it in, especially Rantala, the goal scorer. Looking to turn provider with a set piece. It's a good ball into the box. It's headed out by Tottenham, only as far as the edge of the box, then it's cleared long, and now Tottenham were trying to hit Leicester on the counter. Players racing forward for Tottenham, and back for Leicester, and CJ Bott watches that all the way out for a throw-in. Bott is absolutely marshalling Spence on this right-hand side, and it's great work, but Tottenham do have a throw-in inside the Leicester half, on this right-hand side, now, now here, on the right-hand side, edge of the box, a lovely little one-two there between Spence and Naz for Tottenham. Uh, CJ Bott, though, marshalling them out, trying to force Tottenham back, not trying to give them a chance at all. And it's well shielded out between them. And Rose breaks away with it, and she wins a free kick halfway inside her own half in the middle of hard. And no talking to her this time. It was a, it was one of them take one for the team tackles for Tottenham to stop a certain Leicester breakaway. Um, Dion Rose again, catalyst because I think good for Leicester breaks away, and it is the number twenty five for Tottenham that goes into the book. I believe that's there. Elova Summonham. I think that's two yellow cards apiece now. Yes, it is just confirmed. I see. I know my stuff. BBC just telling me then. Um, 
As Leicester have the ball now, Peterman places it online to the ever dangerous Rose. She's been a thorn in their side. Eh, thorn in their side all game as the ball crosses in. Looked like it might just release Ransler, but it had just a bit too much on it. But Rose, see how I did the word in there without even realising it. A thorn in the side of Tottenham. She has been that way for most of this game for all of 65 minutes. And that ball just a bit too much on it from Ransler. It was expertly crossed in. Too much on it for the Tottenham uh, defenders. They couldn't get a touch on it. Unfortunately, Ransler herself, the goal scorer, uh, as you can see there, the goal scorer in the only goal of the game so far um, couldn't quite get there to potentially add a second for her and Leicester this afternoon. Tottenham do seem to be looking to make another change. We are at the 65th minute. It is with Tottenham right now. Leicester pressing yet again. Rose, superb work. And has she won Leicester a throne? She has. Much to the dismay as Naz. Rose has, by far and away, in what has been a fantastic performance by all, uh, for me, easy early contender for player of the match. Uh, I mean, if Rantel had also maybe had a goal to the one she scored earlier, she definitely is up there in content um, so far as Tottenham try and get control of the ball, but it's air, it's air ball, it's bare head tennis, and Leicester come away with it, and they work it well in the middle, and then they um, keep the ball and keep it out here to... Takarada, who holds on to the ball and plays it into space. And now out wide to Rose. Not many blue shirts in the box. So Rose does really well to try and win a corner, but she doesn't quite get it. But Tottenham get it clear. And again, Leicester just pressing the occasion, pinning Tottenham back. Rose shields the ball fantastically well, uh, despite having two players around her. Uh, and even though Tottenham temporarily get the ball, they give it straight back to the Foxes. Rose plays a cross-field ball into the middle of the park now. Rose, since she's on the end of everything for Leicester uh, in, in terms of great stuff, um, Leicester have it. They've been forced back to the halfway line, looking to go back, but they turn inside to go forward. And then a bit of miscommunication. Uh, Rose wasn't ready to chase that, but Peterman... It needlessly shoved in the back, but she keeps the ball in Tottenham's half on the right-hand side. Jennifer Foster there talking, and Tottenham to her background staff. Tottenham are going to make a second half, a second change of the game. It is Drew Spence is coming off. Uh, CJ Bot will be emptying her pockets at the end of this game, and she'll she'll be pulling Spence out of it. But it is. Graham, the number 16 that has come on in place of Spence for Tottenham. They need to change something off because CJ Bott completely marked Spence out of that game for the 67 minutes that she was on. Um, checking lost property for her later because um, she she was well dealt with for the majority of the game by Bott. The Kiwi International, uh, she's like to point that out because it's... Uh, Bit of a unique one, that Kiwi International, CJ Bott. Um, not to be mistaken for an Australian. They don't like that, doing it either of them. Um, she will be hoping to have the same effect on, on the substitutes game, Graham, for Leicester. who have a throw in uh, just inside their own half. A um, little bit of head tennis and Tottenham now. Have it at the back. It's back with their goalkeeper. They play it out to the left-hand side. Leicester will be looking to put that press on and cause more problems for Leicester. Uh, for Tottenham, sorry. And try and win that ball. It's where Leicester have been the most dangerous. And again, Mamiki showing her pace and um, never say die attitude to run at any cause, won or lost. And... England goes down very easily there, a bit like the nation national side, and uh, appeals for something that was never there. And despite the boos of the crowd, it was never, it's never a foul at all. She's got nothing to worry, nothing she can say about it. Was just a, just a stronger defensive header by Leicester, and Tottenham now have it, but they are all the way back inside their own half. They have it back with the centre backs. So looks to go long, checks inside though, and makes a pass into the middle. Tottenham will be hoping there's time for more for a chance, but they give the ball away like that and let Tottenham get them players back this time. 
they do see a lot more defensively stronger than they were in the first half. Leicester maybe not over committing the bodies forward. They are winning this FA Cup semi-final tie. So this is enough for Leicester to be in that and make their first ever Women's FA Cup final, which will be at Wembley. But they have to deal with this right now. Cross into the box. And Cop read it well. She uh, sensed the danger. She was first to the ball. She got her head in front of it. And it was, a, in the end, a comfortable um, situation for the Leicester's goalkeeper, Cop, to deal with. But that's the first sign of danger in a while. Leicester have really nullified the pace of Tottenham's attack. They haven't really been able to do anything. Uh, although Sophie Howard was under pressure from the short goal kick and she's done well to put it out for a throw-in, but this is great for Spurs. They have an opportunity on this right-hand side, uh, the same side that Rantelor scored the absolute peach of a goal to put the Foxes in front. But Rose, yet again, puts the pressure on, wins the ball for Leicester and drives into the top of half and she switches play over to the right-hand side. Rose staying in the middle. Bot, another great player, another contender for player of the match so far, plays it out to goal scorer Rantala, who looks to deliver a cross. It's looped in and nobody really attacks it. Four white shirts to two blue shirts in the box. It's always going to be a Spurs win. Uh, 70 minutes played. We have 20 minutes left. Can Leicester hold on? Can Spurs find a... Um, a, a an equaliser and take this extra time. Leicester City will certainly be hoping not. And with a pass so wayward like that out for an easy throw into the Leicester three group, Leicester will be saying more of that, please, for the next 20 minutes plus whatever added on time is given at the end of this game. Remember, if Tottenham were to find an equaliser, again, hoping they don't, but if they were to find an equaliser, this game would go to extra time and if necessary, penalties. There is no replay. This would not go to the King Power. This is winner takes all. Both teams all in in this uh, FA, uh, this Adobe FA Cup semi final. As Naz delivers the ball dangerously into Tottenham and it's broken out to the edge of the box. But it's with Tottenham, Leicester have players back. But Tottenham trying to pick a bit of space, see if they can get a, a, an area to shoot in here. And then the cross by Naz is absolutely awful to the delight of lesser players. And Cop plucks it out of the air and falls to the ground. And, you know, Leicester have done really well to marshal any threat that Tottenham possess from the wide areas. They've done really well to force them into not nothing crosses, but crosses from areas that are more advantageous to the defenders and the attackers. As Rose gets it on the left-hand side, Oh, I don't think I need to tell you who I'm going to be picking for my man match. She's been absolutely fantastic. She's got all the way down the left-hand side and, oh, she nearly won Leicester a corner in the process of doing so. You know, God, she's going to be knackered at the end of this game, Rose. She's run her socks off. Reminds me of Shinji Okazaki. She's run 11. And away would Paso. Could give Leicester a chance to get the lead up to two. Rantala, tricky feet, tried to get to the box and create some, manufacture some space for herself. It didn't quite happen, but again, Tottenham lazy on the ball. Leicester win it back, trying to win it, but Tottenham have the numbers behind the ball. And now it going a bit end to end, a bit cagey in that defensive middle. CJ Bott, no foul given against her. She wins the ball. Leicester on halfway. This is very midfield battle that Leicester are winning at, at the moment. They are keeping Tottenham in their own half and restricting them to long range areas to try and create and have chances from so far time not ticking down quick enough for Leicester they are just over 15 minutes away from a place at Wembley in the Adobe FA Cup final 2024 and they've already created history by making it this far they would love to keep making history and get themselves um you know a chance to win a, a glorious trophy in the WSL to become FA Cup champions um, to win the FA Cup would be absolutely amazing given the season the Foxes have had so far this season. But Tottenham will be willing for this time to feel and slow down. There is 74 minutes gone. We have just over 15 minutes plus whatever extra time. Well, stoppage time, should I say, there is to be had. So Leicester still have a job to do here. So far, so good by the Foxes. They've really nullified Spurs in the first half. And they've won the ball in the middle here. 
They've got the numbers. It's three on four, actually. And top straight with the shot, though, comes from the edge of the box by Paul Ganda. And it's a bit tame. And it's an easy save for the Tottenham goalkeeper. Options were there for Leicester. But again, they've won it back on halfway line. Tottenham just cannot keep hold of this ball. And this is just perfect for Leicester right now. These last few minutes, they're just losing it halfway inside their own half. Tottenham, and it's allowing Leicester to create pressure. And Rose looks to keep this in on the left-hand side. She actually did cut across. And that's been kept in. Will Leicester create a chance? It's forced out to the edge of the box. Bot plays a ball into the box. It's not controlled, but Rantala picks up. Rantala shoots, not as good as the first half though. This time she does blaze her chance over a bit. Tottenham are starting to be the makers to run down for this last five minutes. They've not got out of their own half. And every time they've got halfway out of their own half, Leicester have nicked the ball back off and created chances and really pegged Leicester back. This is perfect game planning by uh, Leicester. And well done, Jennifer Foss. Substitutions looking to be made by both teams. Tottenham looking to make their fourth and fifth. I think their last two changes. Maybe they have one more in the bank. Um, yes, they did. They've already made two. So they're, they're, they're leaving themselves with only one sub left. Leicester looking to make only their second change uh, in the game. With just under 15 minutes plus injury time left to go. Leicester are 15 minutes away from a trip to Wembley. And if they take anything near the crowd that they're taking to this game, admittedly it is at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, but it will be a great afternoon for all. But there's still a job to do for the Foxes yet. They have it on this right-hand side. Halfway inside, that's the half, but the substitutions are being allowed to made. Tottenham first. Ooh. Amanda Nielden's coming off um, for Tottenham. The number six off for Tottenham Hotspur um, and Grace Crinton is also coming off the top. Can I get some numbers, please, so I can tell the people watching who it is that's coming off the top and who's coming on? Please, please, and thank you. Please, and thank you. Please, and thank you. Come on, come on. You've, got, you've only got one job. I need to know what numbers are what and what numbers are where. Please, please and thank you would be brilliant. Oh, I think it is a triple change by Spurs. I think they're using all three substitutes, so bear with me. Yeah, Grant on, Nidian off, uh, Viberg on, Clinton off, Silliman off and Anthony on. So Tottenham have used all their substitutions. Leicester are making, they've gone for brokenness. Rose who I'm going to say it now, I know there's still, well, the, 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 these minutes will be added on for all these substitutions. At 77 minutes gone, Diane Rose, Diane Rose, however you pronounce her first name, I do apologise. She, for me, has been one of Leicester's sh shining presence. As Shannon O'Brien comes on for Rose, uh, number seven Rose coming off, 27 O'Brien on. But she is easily my player of the match for this game. She's been phenomenal. Um... You know, and the only thing that's probably outshone her performance is the Rantala goal that currently still separates the two sides. There will be probably three to four minutes added on the end of this for all these substitutions, but Tottenham have officially rolled the dice. They will not be allowed to make any more substitutions unless they can find a way to take this game to extra time. Remember, no replay. This is a game that will go the distance. This game will go to extra time, and if needed, it will go to penalties. A, a method in which Tottenham got through this competition in, in, in rounds before. They won a penalty shootout, so Leicester won't want to go that far. Although, here's a chance for Leicester. Mamiki plays it in. O'Brien's first touch, and she wins a corner. It's a great pass by Mamiki. Neville cuts it out, but Leicester have, I believe, only their first corner of the second half. They haven't had many, but they have been dangerous from these sort of areas. Good crosses into the box. Always looking to get a chance. And O'Brien has only been on the pitch for literally 30 seconds. Her first instinct uh, action is to win Leicester a free kick. <laughs> a, a corner, sorry. And, of course, Tottenham fans are not happy at the gamesmanship shown by Leicester. But there was a final on the line, and, and, and I'm sure Tottenham fans would be cheering um, if Leicester... 
if Tottenham were doing the same and they were winning 1-0. I agree with you, Scott. They do need a goal to get up. It's a low ball in. It's not kind of met by a Leicester player and Spurs to try and break out, but Leicester get body in from and Sophie Green, who's been brilliant as well. I think they all have, really. I just I know I've had a standout player in there um, in Rose, but they've all put in a fantastic shift um, from minute one, even before Rantler's goal. They were fantastic. And I'm getting pins and needles again. Oh, there we go. Great camera work by me there. Um, they've all been really good. And as it stands, Leicester with uh, a little over 10 minutes ago. They are 10 minutes away from securing their first trip to Wembley and their first ever Adobe FA Cup Women's Final. Um, they would love a second goal, like you said, Scott. I agree. They'd love a second goal, which you'd imagine, given how long, how little time is left in this game, that would maybe put the tie out of Tottenham's reach and put Leicester firmly on that Wembley turf uh, to take on either Manchester United or Chelsea as clumsy tackle coming together ends up with Tottenham having a free kick just inside the Leicester City half. 80 minutes gone. We are in to the final 10 minutes of this time. There will be of, uh, at, at least a, a decent chunk of stoppage time given, given the fact that... Um, you know, Tottenham have used all five substitutions in this half, and Leicester have made a couple of themselves. So there's 10 plus minutes added on. As Tottenham have a free kick, they put it into the edge of the box, and it's a Leicester head that deals with it. Howard deals with it, but it is at the expense of a Tottenham Hotspur corner. If you want to praise the look of Leicester and see them over this line, go to LTIDV2, hit like, watch it over there, subscribe to the channel, go for it, go. Tottenham have a corner. Anthony, Leicester have nullified Tottenham for the majority of this half. They need to just see out this last few minutes that are left of this tie. Time ebbing away, not enough for Tottenham. Too, it's going too slow for Leicester. It's that part of the game we're at, folks. The corner was a free header for the Tottenham player, but way too much momentum carrying on to it. She can't guide it, power behind it, but no direction on it. And the Tottenham captain uh, sees her effort head harmlessly wide. To the relief of Leicester, who have, I have to say, the first half was a re-end time, but Leicester have been the better side in this half. And they've got a chance to counter from a long goal kick here. Rantala, the ball could have gone out wide earlier. But it's held up and they still have it here. Mamiki is down, but Leicester pressing with the ball. And this is what you like to see. They're trying to do it. They have really nullified Tottenham's creativity this half. Um, and again, by that impressive press that they have. Although, a horror pill kick. Jessica Nazin. And a woman that has been so, so quiet all game. And a missed kick by the defence. Didn't get it in. 1v1. Oh. Oh. Josie Green's been fantastic all game. But. Just as we were saying that Tottenham. I hadn't really done anything. I absolutely cursed it. And now we are level here in this Adobe semi final. Naz's goal for Tottenham. The bouncing ball misread by Green. Naz is 1v1. She side foots it cool into the bottom corner. And we're 83 minutes now. And now. It looks ever more likely that extra time is on the cards for both sides. It is now Leicester City women won, Tottenham Hotspur women won. And whilst there'll still be top of time and chance for both sides to win this game, 
That is a cruel blow to Leicester, who for the majority of this game, I must be said, especially the second half, have been firmly in control of the situation. But can Leicester respond straight away and get themselves back straight in front? That's a poor ball from Antala, absolutely to nobody. Leicester won't want to have their cage rattled. They'll want to in, they won't want this to go extra time. I know you would imagine that they'll feel confident enough to win it either way in whatever methods needed. Cross into the box by Cayman. It evades everybody and Tottenham now have a chance to clear. Can somebody find a winner in this final five minutes plus stoppage time? Well, that goal really has got Tottenham wagon. It took them nearly 40 minutes of this second half to really get going and create something. And boy, were they just as lethal as Leicester were with their chance. And there's a cross into England and it's just too much on it. Oh dear, Leicester are at sixes and sevens right now. They just need to see this through, you feel. The way it's going, they just need to see this this time through and get it to extra time because this is all Tottenham. And, and in the, again, football at its finest, 80-odd um, minutes, Leicester look like the, the team that were going to win and get themselves to Wembley. Now the, the team that looks like scoring a winner in this tied-up game is Tottenham Hotspur. And again, in case you've just been tuning in now, I'm sure those of you who've been with me all show will know. But this game does go the distance. Extra time, and if no goal is found, penalties will be the outcome. Uh, will be the outcome for this occasion. Tottenham have already prevailed once on penalties, so they'll fancy the chances if this game goes the distance. Leicester have won theirs in normal time. They haven't had to deal with extra time in any of their games. Um Tottenham will be hoping the crowd can really get behind them and, and urge them to get a goal and try and win this in 90 minutes. Um, it would be good. But Leicester now, can they get themselves a foothold back into this game? Can they get it under control? Can they dominate this last five minutes and sneak away to find themselves back in front? They were in front earlier in this game. A scream of a goal by Ransler. Definitely the goal of the day. Not... Um, Naz's finish was a great finish, as we said, but Rantel really is. But O'Brien now is on the left hand side of the box. She's got halfway down the left hand side. She's sat the defender down. She's taken around another one. She's had a deflected shot. Oh, it forced a great save from the top and goalkeeper Spencer. And let's have a corner. Three minutes to go, plus injury time. Leicester. O'Brien did fantastically, sat the defender down the floor, skimmed another one on the took a shot, caught the keeper on the way, so the keeper reacted well in the end, actually, to make the save down to a low, to a bottom right. And Leicester now, can they regain the lead? Can they, in the latest stage of this FA Cup tie, get themselves in front? The ball's crossed in, and, well, that was a leap out of the, the Leicester men's book, straight to the goalkeeper, and now Leicester have committed players forward. Tottenham trying to flood. It is a three-on-three. Three. Tottenham could break Leicester hearts here and win it. And the player goes down. No penalty given. To be fair, the crowd appealed. The player didn't. She got up and got on with it. No penalty. But Leicester, wow, it's really become end-to-end -end again this last five minutes since Tottenham have got that equaliser and got themselves back into the game. It is... Uh, on tender hooks, a goal for either side, you feel, would absolutely win it uh, for them. Now, there'd be no way back for the other to come back into this game. Um, Tottenham, though, have the ball. Leicester will be hoping to deal with this and see this part through. Leicester have never beaten Tottenham since being in the USL, a reminder. Uh, and they were so close to doing it. And it might still be the case if they can find a way to get this ball and get it clear, but they're Struggle at the moment. Pressure coming from Tottenham. They are in the ascendancy. No doubt about it. Tottenham are the team in the ascendancy. Two minutes of, of the 90 to go, plus whatever time we have added on. I feel like there'll be a chunk of it, not just for the goal, but for the subs that both teams have made. Tottenham made all five changes. I believe they will only get one more in extra time. I'd, I, I assume you only get one in extra time for both. But, um, yeah, that was a great challenge by Bot. Uh, it was never, ever going to be a penalty. And rightly so, it wasn't given for Leicester, uh, for, for Tottenham. That would have been very cruel for Leicester to have been a, uh, given a penalty against them there for what was essentially a clean challenge, if I'm being honest with you. 
Uh, yeah, unfortunately, Chris, the the inability, like the men, to keep a clean sheet looks to have cost them or at least stretch this game the, the distance of extra time. Uh, thanks, mate. I really appreciate it. Uh, I hope you guys have all been enjoying my commentary. And if you have, and if you're going to say yes and put a thumbs up in the chat, go and give the channel a like. The, the second one, the LTI T2. If you're on LTI TV1, go and give a like and a subscribe to the channel and show just how much you've appreciated my work on the commentary here today. As we are into the final 30 seconds of the 90 here. Let's have a throw, but it is deep in um in the um Leicester in, in the top in the Leicester half. And Leicester now have won it back a little inside the Leicester half. They're forced back into their own half on the halfway line. Reme, they are doing it at the moment, although typically they couldn't keep a clean sheet like the men and, and, and conceded from a defensive error. But now Tottenham looking to break Leicester's hearts here. They don't want this to go to extra time. Tottenham looking to win this in regulation time. We have four seconds left of it. The header comes in. No direction. Not enough power onto it. And we are at the 90 minutes. How long? is left six minutes added on six minutes for either of these two sides to find a winner can either side find a way to win this time in regulation time or will we be going into extra time and potentially even penalties this is remember this is not a wsl game this is a fa an ODB, an ODB semi-final of the fa women's fa cup uh, so this game has extra time and penalties in store for us unless in the next six minutes of injury time one of these teams can find a winner. Leicester will have a throw and they'll look to try and get that winner here from this attack but it's a bit of pinball um, football that goes out of play for another Leicester throw. Uh, that's brilliant, mate. I hope he has a fantastic birthday and I hope Leicester do give him three points, mate, for his birthday. Um, and Leicester trying to break down this left-hand side, but great resolute defending by Tottenham. They don't have many bodies forward, but Naz, the goal scorer, has his lever. She's running into the box. She's gone down the byline, and to be fair to her, she didn't have any teammates really in the box, but she's done superbly well to win Tottenham a corner kick. We are a minute and a half into the six minutes added on, and Tottenham have a good chance here from a corner to to try and find the winner. Wow, congratulations, Rene. Let's hope he's got many more years to go as well. Be 58 uh, on that day. And Tottenham with a corner. We are nearly two minutes of the six minutes added on. Uh, we're nearly through them. This would be heartache for Leicester. If this was going, it's a good cross, but Cop gets a fist to it and clears the danger and injury. But the ball back in's been left free. And what a save by Cop! She has saved what would have been the winner there for Tottenham. The ball came into the box. She was completely unmarked. But Cup is the hero to Leicester. Oh, what a chance for Tottenham to win the game. The corners go from left. It was put over to uh, on the right-hand side. It's a six-yard box. It was pretty much hit first time. She thought she'd... She, she won the game. What a fingertip save. And Cop rightly celebrating it. But the chance is not over yet. Two and a half minutes into the six minutes added on. Top more in the corner. They're falling forward. And the header is nestled down into Cop's net. And this time she has an easier save to make. Much more easier than one. That has literally kept Leicester in this tie. If she doesn't get anything on that, the tie was pretty much all but over. In um, Tottenham would have broken Leicester's hearts. Uh, oh, excuse me. And uh, that that is a brilliant bit of goalkeeping from Cop to keep Leicester in this tie. Three minutes of the six added on now have been played. And now you feel like Leicester are just here to see these three minutes out. We'll get an extra half an hour of football, which means you get an extra half an hour of me. Um, yeah. Oh, to do this, plus any potential penalties. The ball in the bowl. Thank God for that. The substitute, Grant, got onto the ball. She hit it first time. It hit the side of the net. And for a, for a second there, I thought it'd gone in, as did the Tottenham fans behind and to the left of goal. It's a great cross. Again, Leicester just, they look a little bit leggy, a little bit tired. Tottenham really throwing everything at, um, at, at it. But... Um, 
by God, Leicester are now they're, they're just trying to hold on now as we finish as we complete four of the six minutes added on. Leicester now they just want to get this to extra time by the looks of things. They look to see this out, take this to the stage two of the game. Extra time awaits if the score remains 1-1. Tottenham trying to find a winner, but it's Leicester on the ball. But Tottenham winning it back, and now the roles are reversed. It's Tottenham winning the ball back on halfway. It's them creating the chances late in this game. Uh, but the ball through, well shielded out by the Leicester defence, which apart from the goal has actually been superb this whole entire game and more in the second half. Only recently have they started to wilt. Tottenham will be hoping that Leicester's tired legs will show in extra time and they can win this game there. But Leicester, can they create one more chance? There's a minute 20 left on the clock. They're coming down this left hand side. Peterman, who's not really been involved much this game, she's got to the box. She's played it to O'Brien, who's kept the ball on left hand side. She's worked it well there, just a little bit heavy, heavy touch as she got it past the two defenders. Um, uh, Rene, if Leicester win this, that means they will be in the final, yes, and they will play the winner of the Manchester United versus Chelsea game later on, I believe today, I think it actually follows this game, it might be, uh, I assume it's today, um, but they've got to beat Tottenham first, mate, as a cross comes into the box, but there's no blue shirts there to attack it, and Leicester uh, really gift Tottenham back the ball. But we're into the last 30 seconds of time added on. And a foul by... Um, it's going to be a card here. And I kind of need a break. I need to go water the plants. Uh, so 30 seconds plus a little bit added on here for this free kick to be taken. It is a free kick inside Tottenham's half. So Leicester just need to be dealing with this occasion. Uh, they already are, Rene. They're already making history just by being this occasion. They could further that history by making the final. Seconds left. Five seconds. Four seconds. Three seconds. Two seconds. One second. We have played the six minutes added on. Leicester have the ball. They won't mind that at all, but they give it straight back to Spurs on halfway. And that is the halftime whistle. I'm going to go for a quick break. I desperately need to walk the flowers. Don't go anywhere, though, guys, because this guy... In fact, if you're going to go anywhere, go over to LTI TV 2, like and subscribe to the video and watch it over there. If you are not already, come off Leicester Till I Die TV 1 and go over to LTI TV 2. I'm going to go for a quick water break. You guys catch a breath. We've got extra time to come. And who knows, maybe even the dreaded penalties. I'll be back shortly, folks.
All right, I take my seat. I remove the curtain. Reveal yourself. I am back, guys, and I hope you're back with me. And I hope you're over on Leicester to Learn ITV too. I hope you. I hope these 38 viewers are all over there because that'd be superb and fantastic for the channel. I know I've been banging on about it, but this is why we're double streaming so you guys can get involved and learn about this channel. Uh, that we're developing for the WSL Leicester and the Leicester City quizzes. So if you love quizzes and you've loved my commentary today and you've loved this, please, 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 even if you're watching an LTI TV one, you think you're helping out, you are helping out that channel, but you're not helping out LTI TV too. So just nip over there and watch this second half. Uh, this extra time, sorry, should I say, it's just kicked off. There's 44 of you watching. All of you, Chris won't mind me saying this, all of you flood LTI TV too. Watch the extra time and listen to my commentary over there. It's Leicester, have the kickoff, and they've instantly gone into an attacking position. But Tottenham have the ball back now. This is a 15 minutes where Leicester will want to try and break the deadlock. They've got the ball edge of the box here. O'Brien has it. She's won it on her. She's cut it back, but there's bodies back for Tottenham, and they usher it out. Um... Uh, Rose has come off, mate, but um, she 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 was the left forward. O'Brien's come on for a no, Chris. No, this is to help Leicester to an ITV two grow, Rene. This is why I need you forty viewers. There's forty four of you in a second ago, but they dropped on forty. But you all just come and watch it on um um on uh, on 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 LTI TV two. Watch it there. Get. Get get the views up on that on that channel for me. Get the likes hit on it. Show me how much you've appreciated me bringing you this watch along, and and, and hopefully you've enjoyed my my commentary. I've tried to be as good as possible. So make sure you're heading over to the LCID TV too, and that way you'll get to get all things WSL Leicester related and a Leicester City quiz as well. Uh, that's exactly what Scott's saying there. Thank you very much, Scott. And hi, Nippon. I hope you're well, mate. Uh, long time no speak. Um, not going so great for Chelsea this season, is it? Although you did beat us in the FA Cup, so I can't say much. Um, see you there, but it's good to see you in there, mate. Um, follow the leaders, 42 of you, so all take a chance here as a little bit of a loose ball comes back to Leicester. It's Cop who doesn't play it out short. She kicks it to the middle, but it goes straight to a Spurs player. And after Leicester trying win the ball here, uh, uh, there you go, Scott. You're getting your thanks and praise for that. 44 of you, 44 of you watching. I am so grateful for your your attention being shown here. 45 now. I'm so grateful for all your support, whether you're wherever you're watching this. And if you are on my Twitter, I don't know if it is going on Twitter. The green ticks there, so it has been apparently shown on my Twitter. If you are on my Twitter, or you are on LTID TV one. The place for these watch ones, if you've really enjoyed this WSL watch along, this FA Cup semi final special watch along, please, please, please do go and go to LTI TV2 because that is actually the home of this. We're only doing this to help the channel take off and grow. Um, cheers, Nippon. Uh, hopefully, they can both be in the Premier League because the women's are in the WSL um, Premier League. Hi, Hayden. Hope you're well, mate. Thanks for popping on. Coming on, we're in a tenth extra time FA Cup semi final battle at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. It is currently 1 1, a late goal from Tottenham. There's a ball comes to the box, but it's well collected by Cobb. She got above the uh, threat from Tottenham there and uh, she claims it very well done. Uh, we're, we're three minutes into the first of two 15 minute halves of extra time here. In. Uh, Adobe FA Cup semi-final between Leicester City women and Tottenham Hotspur women. It's been a great contest um, uh, so far and we're we're in for at least another 20 odd minutes of it. We're about five minutes into this half an hour extra. Can either side find a way to win this game or will the lottery of penalties decide it? Remember, Tottenham have got through a round to get to the stage by winning a penalty shootout. Um, so they all feel that they can do it again. Leicester have got through comfortably on on winning it in 90 minutes alone. This is the first time they've gone to extra time. Tottenham did make all the subs. I believe both teams get one extra sub in extra time. Leicester had only made two changes uh, throughout the game. Um, my player of the match, and there's still 
this half to go. So it could still change. This extra time period could change it if if a hero is is born in the Tottenham Hotton Stadium in Leicester name, but Rose came off for O'Brien. So far, my player of the match. Rene, this is what we're all hoping for, mate, but we have to deal with this chance here. Four and a half minutes in to the extra time, and that is a easy take for Cobb. High floated ball, went towards the back post, had too much height on it, and Leicester easily deal with it. And they're trying to build up some pressure here and get it at top and get into their half. Um, Howard has to check back here. Takarada has it on halfway for Leicester. Whelan lays it back. I believe Whelan's come on, so I missed the substitution. I apologise. Um, here's Leicester breaking into the box. Um, the ball bounces away and Tottenham get away with it. Scott, absolute legends. Both channels just as good, but LTID is exactly right. If you've loved this, that's where you need to be. LTID TV 2 is the main focus for Leicester women's and quizzes. So do go over there. Do make sure you're now watching there. As Leicester have a free kick. She fell in the box. Um, We have a free kick. Dangerous area. Oh, she had one foot in the box, one foot outside the box. And I tell you this now, the Tottenham player is thankful that she connected with the foot that was outside the box. Otherwise, Leicester would be having a penalty. But yes, please do. Thank you very much, Scott, for all your support throughout the show today. Do make sure, guys, you know, there's 44 of you in. And you probably, if you're a sat at the first Leicester Till I Die channel, Leicester Till I Die, the main channel, you think you, you probably think you're doing a great job supporting the channel. And you are. You're still supporting us. And it's fantastic. And we love you for it. But for this sort of content, for the women's stuff, if this is something you're really into, please swap over to LTID 2 Start watching us there. And if you have been watching us there, thank you very much for watching us there. Hit the like button on both channels and subscribe to both channels. We do appreciate it. Yeah, it wasn't announced, Rene, but I heard Whelan's name and I'm fairly she was on the um on the substitutes bench. So she's come on for someone. Uh Leicester do have a player down currently at the moment receiving treatment. We are just coming up to seven minutes into the first half of extra time. It is Mamiki, I believe. It could be Takadira. It's hard to tell sometimes between the two of them. I haven't really seen who it is. Two substitutes. Oh, no, one substitute. Sorry, that's a Captain Tierney having a word with the substitute there who looks like, unfortunately, that injury is going to force Takadiri off. Um, she's, she doesn't look happy. She's had a fantastic game. Have Takarada, she's been fantastic, but she has going to have to come off. They've all played brilliantly, and that's one thing you can say. Rene, I'm just going to remove that comment, mate, because I don't want people knowing where it is. At the end of the day, if you found where it is and you, you want to watch it, that's fine. Mute them, watch them here. But, Rene, we want people here. It's the whole point of the watch along. So, please, Rene, you want an only warning. Do not post where it is. It's on. If people want to find it and watch it, that's absolutely fine. Funny enough, it's a watch along that I'm doing. I want you here. Leicester now. Danger free kick, goal score Rantler, right over it. A free player wall there for Rantler. She's had a shot and hit the crossbar. Oh, was that tipped onto my shit? I don't know, but that's a fantastic chance. Uh, no worries, Rene. Just I do appreciate you trying to help people out. Haven't you? But that's the kind getting clear. The play goes out. And it's gone the opposite way. It's not a penalty given, it's a free kick to Spurs. Oh, what a glorious chance for Leicester City. Oh, Rantler's free kick. I'm just sitting there. And I, I, she bounces off the bar and bounces down. It doesn't go into the net from it. And then the clearance came in and then there was a player tumble down. The referee blew her whistle. It's fingertip saves actually to keep it. It's a great touch on it. But the finger, the, there was a player down in the box. A lesser player down. The referee blew a whistle, but not for a penalty. She gave a free kick to Tottenham and... Even the commentary I listened to are a bit bewildered that that wasn't given the other way. And the Leicester City interim manager, not very happy, and has earned ourselves a yellow card. Just seeing this incident back, are we? No, no, we're not. Is it Sophie Howard that was down and uh, not given a penalty that they feel aggrieved they haven't got? And 
well, if Tottenham were to go on and win this now, uh, yeah, Wheeling for Amik and Palmer for Takadira, uh, Takarada. I will say their names properly once. Thank you, Scott. I appreciate that. I did notice William come off and I did see uh, Mimiki. I hadn't heard her name, so it was her that came off. I saw Takadara uh, and Palmer on. So thank you, Scott. So Leicester will feel unfortunate. They really must feel they've become literally a whip, a whisper of a chance. And there's a shove in the back there on Howard. She, they, they had a real case to suggest that it should have been a penalty, never a free kick the other way. That's for damn sure. There's definitely contact on her. That should have been a pass to Leicester. Now they will feel aggrieved, especially if they were to lose this tie based on a goal, not a, a penalty not awarded to them. As uh, Leicester have it here with Cop, who plays a superb ball out wide left. It's played further down the way. Whelan has it on the left hand side. She's looking to attack the the back line of Tottenham but she's forced to go a little bit back Palmer plays it to O'Brien who's been brilliant since coming on for Rose um she's dispossessed but um the ball comes back in Leicester's favor they still have it out on this left hand side um now then substitute Palmer O'Brien plays it in wheeling the substitute good cross in but no one's there to attack it from a Leicester's perspective and Tottenham will try and bring the ball away down this right-hand side. But a couple of misplaced passes force them back to their own byline. Uh, Leicester swarming around them. Substitute for Tottenham Graham. Passing it around. They're still inside their own uh, six-yard box. And there's pressure there. And it just about done well by the Tottenham defender to allow the goalkeeper to clear it. And now it's Tottenham's chance to try and push forward. Little... A little way inside Leicester's half on this right-hand side, but they go back into their own half, still on the right-hand side. Now, Leicester are trying to get back in shape. Tottenham trying to cut through Leicester. Great ball down the left-hand side. Can the Tottenham play get onto it? It's got just a bit too much on it for her, thankfully for Leicester. And with just over three minutes left of the first half of extra time, yes, folks, we are in extra time. Leicester have a goal kick. And to be fair... Despite Tottenham, maybe the full-time whistle took the momentum out of them. It has been all lesser this first period of extra time. Uh, a great effort that had fingertips saved by Rantos' free kick that rattled the bar, a whisker away from re-establishing uh, re Leicester's lead and Rantos' second. And then a free kick that was given for what should have been a penalty, in my opinion. If it wasn't a penalty, it certainly wasn't a free kick to Tottenham because there was contact made on Howard. But... Leicester can't, um, you know, can't hold on to that. They have to keep focused and a uh, very good hold-up play from Botts, who's actually up there for contender of player of the match. She stayed on because of extra time longer than Rose and she's been brilliant on the ball, holding it for Leicester, holding it up and and creating spaces for her. It's, it's been fantastic work by the Kiwi there. Uh, for Leicester and they have the free kick and they launch into Spurs half and they, uh, Peterman brings the ball down Leicester trying to create something on the left but they can't quite get the ball under control and the pass is astray and now Tottenham have the chance to count on this left hand side that's a better ball for Tottenham on the left hand side she's driving into the box she's nuts off the ball CJ Bott doing brilliant defensive work again and she earns Tottenham another corner in this game. This game really is open all extra time. We're unlucky for some 13 minutes into the first half. Hi, Dara. Great to see you, mate. I know you. I know you. I know you. You're watching this on LTI DV too, aren't you? You better be, Dara. You better have been going over to LTI TV because that is the home for this channel. We're only here to grow the channel. You need to grow the channel, Dara, by making sure you're watching us on LTI TV too. Good stuff, Dara. I know you've already done that, mate. I know you're already there, aren't you? And so are the rest of you watching. As Tottenham have this corner to be delivered in, there is a minute and five left of this first half. And, wow. Well, if, if 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 I'd said earlier in the game that Leicester women should go and show the men how to cross the ball, definitely don't take any of the Tottenham corner takers because that one didn't even go in, didn't even stay in play. It went 
in and out of play. It was an awful corner from Tottenham, much to the delight of Leicester's players. And we are now into the final minute of the first half of extra time here. Again, Leicester have been the better of the two sides so far in extra time, but no goal to show for it. And a goal you feel at any point in extra time could be pivotal to the way this epic Adobe FA Cup semi-final tie plays out as we are whittling down to that half-time whistle. It is still Leicester City winning one, Tottenham winning one here as we go into that last 10 seconds of the first half of extra time. Penalties looks to be the way the sides are going to be have to get separated in what has been an enthralling encounter here at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium for this FA Cup semi-final. Two minutes added on. Two minutes for Leicester to try and get themselves in the lead before the second half of extra time. And also two minutes for Tottenham to do exactly that. Leicester have to stay sw switched on. Uh, but Tottenham have a chance to break here. An advantage played, but they deal with it well with Leicester, actually. The advantage was kind of played and they got forward, but Leicester recovered and got the ball now. And they have it on halfway line. Forced to go back a little bit. Boos winging, ringing around from Tottenham fans. I don't know why. Sounds like Tottenham all over. It's nice to have it now in an advanced area. The right-hand side of the Tottenham box. Retired the goal scorer for Leicester. She puts in a cross, but unfortunately to nobody. And uh, Spencer, the goalkeeper, collects it easy. rantala has been fantastic. That's probably her blot on her. A very good performance for Leicester there. A cross into nobody. Are we getting promoted from Championship? I'm pretty scared to one of the uh, I, I don't know. I'll, I'll talk about that uh, on, on a match day on, on our men's watch along. Um, this is LTI DV2, um, where the WSL goes on. So, again, guys, in case you know, because some of you pop in and out, um, you know, if you're watching this LTI DV1 and you've really enjoyed it, it's actually LTI DV2, the, the home of women's content and Leicester City quizzes. So if you like quizzes as well as the content I've been bringing you today with this watch along, go over to LTI TV2, hit subscribe, hit like, watch it there, help that channel grow. Because that's the, that's the reason we're streaming to both channels right now to make sure that uh, this channel can grow and you guys can find it easier than... Um, and, and, and you never miss another watch along of my wonderful commentary. He says, hopefully, that you've been enjoying it. As um, we are now seconds into stoppage time, there's seconds left. Leicester try and launch an attack here, but legs look tired, and it is half time here. It is still Leicester City 1, Tottenham Hotspur 1 in this Adobe semi FA Cup semi final. Both clubs have made history by making it this final competition but only one can prevail will we find a winner in 15 minutes or will this game go the distance and go to penalties let's find out as the teams take a quick break and i will take a quick break too whilst this break's happening you know what to do ltid tv2 i'm a poet and didn't even know it
Ah, you, you missed me. Good, because I nearly missed the start of the game, didn't I? 48 of you just in now. Three of you, I know what three of you are doing. Three of you have gone off here to go over to LTR DV2 and subscribe, haven't you? We are back underway. Yeah, I know you, you lovely lot. Oh, there's loads of you, and I appreciate all your support. Tottenham have got us underway. Um, um, Sorry if you can hear me in the background. Um, uh, <laughs> yeah. What's happening here? We are basically, you know, LTIT TV2. Terry, that is the home of the WSL football. Trying to get the channel growing. So we're streaming to both channels. If you're liking WSL content and you like anything WSL or Leicester quizzes, please, please support the channel and subscribe it. It's my channel that I'm working alongside with Chris and he's getting me to go ahead to do it. We set this all up. Uh, of course, I'm on break and forgot to take myself out and mute. So there you go. Um, this is what's happening. It is an FA Cup semi-final, uh, Terry. It's got all the way to extra time. We're in the second half of extra time now. And uh, Leicester have, well, we're now a minute into that. So they've got 14 minutes to try and find a winner. And Tottenham will be doing the same as Tottenham are coming forward, looking to break Leicester's hearts. Um but, um, but Leicester crossed the ball in and had a chance to clear it, but uh, pressure puts on. But Cop is going to try and eat away at the clock here. Penalties will follow here if this game is still level within these allotted 15 minutes extra time. We're in the second half of it, and that is a um, wayward pass over here by Leicester. And the tired legs. Will play effect in this game now, you feel. It's going to go. Um, if there's going to be a winner, they're going to have to hope for a mistake because the goalkeeper for Tottenham really makes one there. Great pressure there, but she gets away with it. All right, Terry. Thanks. Appreciate your support, mate, uh, popping in. But it's Tottenham have it at the back, but Leicester, who have pressed and pressed that back line all, all game, even in soft time. And they've won it here. They've got a chance. Oh, they can't they just can't get it under control to have and, and they've allowed Tottenham to get players back. They've got numbers back now, Tottenham. Leicester trying to attack on this right hand side. CJ Bot ever present on this right hand side. Great crossing. Oh, it's headers up and down. Tottenham can't get it away. Um, um, yeah, they've got some great international penalty takers that have taken it for their club and country. So Leicester were just as confident as Tottenham. In, in, if this does go the distance, Scott, uh, lots and lots of players. Uh, we are just two viewers shy of 50. And if there's 50 of you do manage to get in, I want you all to be over at LTI TV too, saying how much you've enjoyed this watch along and supporting the actual home of the WSL. Uh, introducing the WSL to you guys. Your support has been phenomenal, um, as always. Um, just show your love to the other channel because that's where this sort of content will be in going on from. It's the mainstay for the football, uh, for the WSL watch-alongs. So if you've loved this, that's what you need to do. You know the good stuff you need to be doing, like, sharing and subscribing, all things LTI TV too. And a cheeky Leicester City quiz that goes on on that channel as well. 
18, well, nearly 19 minutes of the 30 minutes extra time have been played. Leicester trying to carve open one more opportunity. They'll fancy the chances to have at least one more go at the Spurs goal to win it. Um, a header looked to have gone out of play and it has actually gone out of play there for a Tottenham throw-in on the right-hand side in uh, uh, of the box. So, Brian there, not able to keep the ball in. Leicester all just want one chance. They had one glorious chance in the first half and they took it. Ran to with an absolute screamer and she nearly topped it with a free kick in extra time. Fingertips onto the bar, denying her a second goal. But they're at Leicester will feel if they can create a chance here, they just can't get it away. The pass is a bit over hit and it's Tottenham to get it clear, but only as far as a Leicester player. And they just send the ball back down the line to uh, to uh, to, to go out for a Tottenham throw him. Uh, and this is the stick or twist moment for both sides as we enter the last 10 minutes of extra time. Can either side find a winner? Obviously, we want Leicester to find it in this game. But the first Odeby, uh, Ad Adobe FA Cup semi-final has the potential to go the distance. And this match will face the winners of Chelsea versus Manchester United. The other semi-final, which is underway now, I believe, or will be shortly. So, you know, both, the, both them sides will be knowing sooner or later who their opponents will be in the FA Cup final. A chance for one of these clubs to make history. No, Neither of these sides have ever been in the in the final. They've never made a semi-final to this season. They, Leicester will want to continue their history making, but they're a bit slack on the ball, caught flat-footed there. And Tottenham win the ball back in possession on this right-hand side. Leicester do get numbers back though and force them to halfway. In the middle of the pitch, halfway line, ball play forward. Graham has it here for Tottenham. Trying to shake off the Leicester pressure. Passed out wide now. And a ball over to the right-hand side. Kept in by Tottenham. But unfortunately, all she can do is peg the ball back and the Leicester player picks it up. But again, Leicester spirit... Well, Peterman foul on Tottenham player. Um, but Tottenham have a free kick. 22 minutes into the 30 and all communication error between defence and cop there. Defence cleared it, but the smash pass slash shot, um, not not to worry Leicester this time around, but Tottenham still have the ball just on the halfway line. They pass it out onto the left-hand side, trying to stretch the Leicester play. Leicester trying to keep them at bay. As they've done very well and very successfully, minus the goal that now scored where Green was alluded to by the bouncy ball and they switch it over to the right and it's over here, too far in front of Nevin uh, and Leicester have a throw in just under halfway inside their own half. Cayman, who's been featuring at left back, the midfielder she usually is, which she's playing left back today, um, she throws it and Leicester again trying to come down this left-hand side with Whelan. Uh, they have to play it there. Palmer plays a ball over the top. She can't run onto it, though. It's way too much on it. And uh, Tottenham have it back here. There has been... There is seven and a half minutes plus any additional time left for either side to play a winner. And all oh, the... Tottenham yet again get away with prattling around with it at the back. Spence... Spence are there. Nearly caught out. It was... I think it was Peterman that charged her down in the end. It was a back pass. Peterman read it. She charged and the keeper had to slide. She's actually taken Rantelar out um, in trying to go for the ball, to be fair. It's not a foul or anything like that. But Spence is getting a telling off by the referee. So, so she's just saying, look, just be more careful. It, it, you know, it's not a penalty or anything. I, I'm, no player was appealing for that. But Peterman's taking a knock in it. And... Somehow, yet again, Tottenham Hotspur have got away with pressing around at the back. It seems like pressing around and mistakes at the back is throughout football, not just in the men's game. But boy, Leicester would love one of them to fall in their favour. They have a throw in though on this right hand side, in, led, in line with the corner of the uh, penalty box. 
and it's unfortunately um it's all come to nothing as a throw to wheeling she couldn't do anything with it and the ball harmlessly goes out for a goal kick we have six minutes left of extra time in this adobe fa cup semi-final this game is set to go the distance can either side find a way uh create one more chance leicester will be hoping to create one more chance and hopefully take it and book their place in their first ever fa cup final but they have to be careful here beth england has lost the ball though for tottenham here and now let's have a chance to counter the Tottenham have players back though. Leicester have players on the right. Rantala has options to the right. She uses the option on the right. It cuts in. It comes back to Rantala. They're looking to switch the play over to the left hand side. It's a oh, it's just over hit to O'Brien. She was never going to get there and keep it in. And another half chance comes to nothing, unfortunately. Um, but we enter the final. Wait, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. We have five minutes left of extra time, plus any injury, injury time that may be added on. There hasn't been a lot to be awarded. Maybe a minute, the, the max, I would say, an award. But, uh, can either team, Tottenham looking to break Leicester's hearts, despite the fact that Ransel, I give them a lead after 12 minutes. Naz is fortunate well not fortunate goal quality finish from her to be fair she played off the last line defense green the only defensive error Leicester have made all game was ultimately costly and that's why we are one all in an extra time here at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium in this FA Cup semi-final Tottenham now trying to create their chance they're, they're trying to have their last say in this game before penalties are needed the dreaded lottery of a penalty shootout and I will say this, no matter what happens in the next four minutes or so here or in the pe potential penalty shootout, Leicester can do, can say they've done themselves proud. They have come away to Tottenham. It's not easy to do that when you're away in a semi-final. No neutral ground for the semi-final in the WSL. They have put in a hell of a shift and a great performance they can be proud of. But they'll want to make history. They'll want to not just be proud of of a failed effort they'll want to be proud of a successful effort and making staking their claim for a chance to win the women's fa cup fireboard who's been very resolute in defense has just put it out for a corner 26 and a half minutes have been played of 30 minutes extra time we do here a goal here just like the chance that Tottenham had at the end of the game in regulation time would surely spell um disaster for the foxes and would ultimately surely put tottenham into the fa cup final oh for those of you of a nervous disposition hide behind the sofa as we go into this final few minutes punched clear by cop she's been resolute in that box again at dealing anything the Tottenham have to throw at her uh and a lofted header and it's gone oh! Oh, it's utter, utter heartache for Leicester City. Oh, it's heartbreak for Leicester. The cross was initially dealt with by Cop. She punched it out to the left. The ball was put back in and then a looping header by the 17 Thomas completely deceived the Leicester City goalkeeper. And that is absolute heartbreak. Oh, I am gutted. Gutted for a cop dealt with the initial one. She was tracking back, trying to get her position. The cross comes in. It's a mixed up header. And then it's just looped in. And... Oh, that's that's cruel. And I will be honest with you here, it's not blue tinted glasses, it's not sour grapes. You know, you have to give credit to Tottenham for keep creating chances, but it is so undeserved. This game, if it didn't deserve a Leicester winner, it definitely deserved to go all the way. But it looks like 
No, I'm gutted. I can't even. It looks like Thomas's goal for Tottenham in the last few sec minutes of extra time has cruelly, cruelly ended Leicester's FA Cup journey at the semi-final stage. There is a minute plus what will now surely be three minutes or more extra time. There is a player down, so there might be a couple more minutes. But the sucker punch of all sucker punches. And look, credit to Tottenham. They looked down and out. They looked like Leicester were going to win the game in all time. They kept fighting. They found a way back into it. And then in the cruelest of ways, Leicester switch off for half a second and they are yet again punished across into the box. And it is so heartbreak for Leicester. It seems that that will be the goal that could potentially decide it. Leicester will be hoping praying that they create a second chance in what I have to admit from a neutral's point of view has been a fantastic game to watch and as cruel as lottery could be the lottery penalty could be it it was probably the outcome that both teams deserves but as the board goes up to have three minutes injury time the Leicester players on the bench have their heads in their hands the Leicester fans are trying to rally their players. They're trying to rally them to one last chance. Can Leicester save their FA Cup tie? Can they take it the distance? Can they get a goal in stoppage time? They win the ball here well on halfway. Have Leicester got one more chance in the tank to try and save this tie? They would so deserve to take this a distance after all the effort they've put in over 120 minutes. The ball comes into the box. It's bounced, but it's hooked clear and well away by Spurs. Leicester get ahead on it. They try to keep this attack alive. CJ Bock, but she gets taken down. There's a throw into Leicester. We are one of the three minutes to go. Leicester need a chance. They deserve a chance to try and take this game the whole distance. The Leicester crowd quickly get the ball back to her. They're in that corner there. It's thrown in, but it's thrown to a Spurs player. Oh, this is unbearable to watch. Leicester do not deserve to go out to an extra time goal. They deserve to at least be taking this to the whole distance. But Leicester need one chance and it has to go in. Otherwise, unfortunately, in the cruelest way possible, Leicester will be defeated and typically they haven't sung all game but now the Spurs fans actually wake up it's embarrassing Spurs fans there I said it the only time I've heard Spurs fans because you wouldn't know who was cheering for most of the game but magically now they wake up but Leicester have a free kick here hold your horses this tie is not over yet Tottenham have not won yet Leicester have a chance they have a free kick, well run by P well won, should I say, by Peterman. She wins a free kick for Leicester. It is on the right hand side. Everybody forward for Leicester, you'd imagine. The keeper's coming up, cop is coming up. This would be the moment. If there's ever going to be a goal, you might as well lose the tie 3 1 going to get an equalizer, then not go for it. The finish international cop. The keeper is up. Everybody in the box pretty much for Leicester, apart from the two players over the ball. Two outside the box as well in case it breaks out. Leicester throwing everything at it. 30 seconds left. There will still probably be 30-odd seconds added on for this free kick that it's time it's taken to deal with. The referee trying to build up drama. She has She's having a word with the number 10 of Leicester and the number, I believe, 6, possibly 16 of Tottenham. Can't see the full number. It's number 6 of Tottenham. Having words, lengthy words, both of them. There will be time for Leicester if this doesn't go in and they can get a corner or something to win this. Leicester should have had a penalty, remember. They should have had a penalty, so they they will feel that an equaliser is just. It deserves to go. The free kick comes in. Goalkeeper's got a touch. Cops got it. It's a flicked on. Shot comes in. It's blocked. Oh. And Tottenham will now surely break and potentially score. No, it's not got enough legs on it. Oh, referee, you are a joke. The free kick took a minute and a half and you blow exactly as soon as that chance gone. Oh. Oh, I'm absolutely gutted.
Oh, I'm gutted. I'm gutted for the ladies. I'm, I'm gutted for the effort and the heart and determination that's shown. There, the players drop to the floor. They're picking each other up. It is heartache in extra time for Leicester. They created history by getting this far. Oh, girls, I feel sorry for them. They don't deserve it. They don't deserve their dream to end of an FA Cup final. But unfortunately, despite their efforts, despite the chances, despite their brilliant resolute performance and defences wise, the dream of an FA Cup final is taken away from them in one of the most cruelest of fashions. It has unfortunately finished here at the Tottenham Hotspur uh, Stadium. Leicester City women one, Tottenham Hotspur two. I am truly gutted. It is a, It was a performance and a game that deserved to go the distance. Both teams created chances. Both teams defending well. But as is in football, football is a cruel mistress. And for two occasions that Leicester switched off, they were cruelly punished by Tottenham. It's been a long, long stream. We're over the three-hour three hour mark. This is going to be one of my last pleas to you guys. I'm going to take a quick couple of minutes break to absorb what's just happened there. I'm going to do a quick post-match rundown for you guys. But please, if you haven't already, go over to LTID TV to cheer me up a bit. Uh, cheer me up a bit. Go over to the channel that is home of the watch-along of WSL content uh, and subscribe to that channel and hit the like button. And I will be back. I'll be back in a few minutes to give you a quick roundup of what has been a heart-breaking extra time defeat in the Adobe FA Cup semi-final tie between Leicester City and Tottenham Hotspur. I'll be back in a few.
there we have it ladies and gentlemen thank you all for joining me in what has ended up being a very heartbreaking defeat for leicester city's women in their fa cup semi-final look i'm so proud of the women they put in such a great effort they were resolute throughout and football can be the cruelest of games so far they shepherd naz out of that game for 80 minutes and then it as is the Leicester way, it feels like at the moment, one, well, in the end, it was two crucial mistakes, but one crucial mistake stole the chance for Leicester to have won the game in 90 minutes. And then after a free kick gets a fingertip saved onto the bar by Rantelar, who had given the Foxes a lead after 12 minutes initially, um, I'm gutted. I'm gutted for them. I really am gutted for them. Uh, you know, Howard was a judge to have fouled uh, a top and play in the box. A free kick was given when it should have been probably a penalty to Leicester. And then when your look's not in, your look's not in. A ping pong ball into the box, looping header. Cop was tracking back, trying to get herself in position. She was a little bit out of position. And unfortunately, Thomas's header separated the two sides in extra time. If any performance warranted going the distance and being dragged all the way to the lottery of penalties it was that for Leicester unfortunately that wasn't to be the case as cruel as it was but Leicester's heart effort and passion cannot be um questioned at all they give everything to that performance they'd already done so well and created so much history just by getting to this occasion and for many a team who the first time, they would have crumbled, maybe. They would have handled the pressure. Hey, I'm not trying to be sour grapes here, but uh, an FA Cup semi-final one played at a home ground when it should be at a neutral ground, maybe that, you know, the occasion can help. But to be honest with you, until Spurs took the lead, their crowd was not that loud at all. It was a good atmosphere, but they weren't over-roaring the Leicester crowd. You couldn't really tell who was singing for who. There was no obvious chance of Leicester or Tottenham um until that goal but football was a cruel mistress and is very unforgiving and unfortunately despite creating some chances themselves and doing a very good job in stopping Tottenham created chances the two big chances that Tottenham had throughout the entire game were found their way into the back of the Leicester net unfortunately and in the cruelest of fashion Leicester City succumbed to a defeat in the Adobe semi-final uh at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium it's ended Leicester City women one Tom Hotspur two and despite the heartache at the end um I'm so proud of the women's effort um man of the match for me um I was giving it rose I really was pretty much all game I've been talking her up but the game went an extra 30 minutes longer and that kind of meant that some players played you know 120 minutes and if i base it on the pure 120 minutes rose was going to get it from me she was fantastic down that left but a woman who never shirked responsibility did everything right that she could do in terms of making tackles sh sh shepherding out uh half chances winning the ball back pressing high for leicester it's the Kiwi CJ bot for me. She was absolutely fantastic. Um, she's my man of the match. And I'm going to give the team rating, despite the heartache, I'm going to give the team rating a 9 out of 10. They were absolutely phenomenal. Um, had they gone on to win the game, it would have been a 10 out of 10. That, that's literally the difference between a 9 and a 10 for me. They were resolute. They dug in deep. They tried anything and everything they were so hard cop even went up for a free kick at, at the end to try and get a win in so they took literally the kitchen sink and the keeper at spurs she actually got it on the end of the the cross into the box and nearly caused a chance for leicester the dream was there but tottenham and thomas snatched the dream away you guys and girls and non-binaries have been absolutely phenomenal we've had close to 50 of you in viewing we've had a pretty consistent amount of up to 40 of you in throughout the show the, i have thoroughly enjoyed bringing you this watch along of this fa cup women's semi-final 
It's a shame I won't be able to give you a Wembley Live final to bring maybe next season. But if you have enjoyed this watch along, and I know for those of you who have been in all show, the majority of the show, you've heard this a lot, but people come in and out. So I'm going to say it one last time before we wrap up here. If you've enjoyed this and you've enjoyed my commentary, you've enjoyed the game, you've enjoyed... Um, you've enjoyed the WSL content and you want to see more of it, if you're watching this on LTI TV 1, I thank you for it, but head on over to LTI TV 2, stick on there, if you've not, you know, stick on there, watch the last few minutes of this show there, you know, help that channel, because that is the actual home of WSL content, all things Leicester City in the WSL and the Leicester City quizzes. So if you have enjoyed it and you are want to see more watch alongs uh, and me do this for the women's content, that's where you need to go. That's what that's the channel you need to be subscribing to. That's the channel you need to be smashing the likes on. And that's the channel that you need to make sure you've got everything like notifications turned on, subscription on, and everything there. Because we're only streaming to LTI TV one and two. So that channel can expand and grow alongside LTI TV one. This won't be a permanent thing. So if you think, oh, I can just stay here. It's no big deal. They won't mind. No, Leicester to Light ITV one is only doing this for a while just to get this channel going, get it growing, get it into a couple of hundred of you lovely people subscribed. And once that happens, we won't be sharing the channel. So if you want to make sure you're watching LTI TVs to WSL content and Leicester City quiz, that's what you need to do. Please, please, please do go and show your love and support to that channel. This is the main channel for the WSL. Uh, um, so if you have enjoyed it and you, and you, and this, maybe this has been your first experience with WSL football and you've just enjoyed listening to me, um, try and do my best to keep up and commentate with it. If you have, that's where you need to go and that's what you need to do. And I, we, from all of us here at LTID TV, we really appreciate any and all support you show to either channel. I really have appreciated how many of you have been in, in and throughout the show. Unfortunately, it wasn't to be, will be, Leicester will not be going to Wembley, but they've done us proud they really have in a game that on another day they probably could have and would have won that free kick that penalty decision not given on another day they probably go in and they get given and Leicester win the game but unfortunately the final curtain has shut on Leicester's women's FA Cup journey they fall at the final hurdle I hope that didn't happen to any of you Grand National bets yesterday um, but unfortunately, Leicester did fall at the final hurdle. Um, my team rating was a 9 out of 10. My player of the match was CJ Bott. Um, and yeah, again, thank you very much for all of you that have joined me live on, on, on stream today, wherever you've come to it. Last time, that that's the home channel. Go to LTID TV too. Click like, subscribe, watch a couple of minutes if it's back on there if you haven't had the chance to get over there and do it now. I will be back on this channel, LTI TV2, with an LCFC football pyramid quiz with our very own LTI TV Dave. I'm going to organise it with him. I've got the questions and that all pretty much ready to, to sort out. Go and check out that video. There is one down. The first episode of that is down with LTID's Craig. Go and see what it's all about. See if you like it and want to take it on. Follow me on Twitter at Full Time Focus and message me if you've enjoyed it and want to get involved. Or if you want to be part of these watch alongs, we're all happy to have you on here. If you want to kind of do some co commentary, come on at pre match, half time, and, and post match uh, like I do for the men's football. If you want to do that here on the WSL, follow me on Twitter, drop me a message, let me know. I'd more than happily have people on. I think it's it's great um, to have you all here. Appreciate all your support. Thank you very much. Um, make sure you hit the like button on both channels on the way out. And uh, until next time, which will probably be a show 
uh, a quiz on here, and it'll be a, a it'll be a preview show for Chris on LTID TV One. Thank you very much for your support. You guys take care, and until next time, come on, you foxes. Goodbye. These videos are so dreamy. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to click the notification bell. This podcast is proud to be part of the TalkSport Fan Network. TalkSport. Powered by fans. That will conclude this evening's entertainment. 